up chat. Hey. Oh my god, the AC! Shut the fuck up, it's not even funny anymore. Look at you, I bet if I go into your chat messages, I'm gonna see you've done that at least 12 times. I bet if I scroll up far enough, I'll start seeing some real embarrassing stuff. Here we go. Woo! Uh-oh. Dude, imagine being such a fucking sicko right now, all right? People fucking coming in here, dude, hey, it's like 90 to 110 degrees across the entire fucking country. What sort of fucking freak are you to shame anyone for running AC right now? You are a fucking monster. Dude, I can hear it, dude. Shut up, you little shit. Oh my god. Like, it's so fucking hot everywhere. I feel bad for the people that have to deal with the fucking 116. <laughs> oh my god. Besides, if I didn't have this, instead you'd have to listen to the constant fucking noise in your ears that, ee, that I know you have. Anyone that's listening to this has it, even if you don't want to admit you do. You're welcome. I swing back. Oh yeah. I do not. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Oh yeah, well, listen to this. Listen, just listen. <laughs> Can't even hear it. Delusional. Delusional and denial. It's so obvious. Look, dude. In, in the nowadays world, people fucking say that having a normal conversation with someone is almost breaking the point where your ears are receiving an unhealthy amount of fucking volume put into them. And being near a car outdoors is apparently the threshold where people are like, hey man, you shouldn't be near this, it hurts your ears. So I can guarantee to fucking all of you, you've got at least some, some of the E in you, even if you don't want to admit it. Headphones are fucked up. Headphones are very fucked up. Oh yeah. Put a source of volume right next to your fucking ear with almost no space in between for it to like spread at all. Fucking blasting your eardrums point blank. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Just turn the volume down, dude. You actually don't realize the point I'm making. It's not about the volume. To a certain extent, your ear, like it's not entirely about the volume. It's also about the distance that the sound is being produced by. Like it, it legit, like it might not sound any louder than something like outside, but it's because it's so much closer to your eardrum that it becomes a problem again. Constantly producing a sound that close to your eardrum doesn't need to be like fucking blasting at max volume. The point is that it's there. Think about it. That's right, I am an ear scientist. Thank you, thank you. Yes, that's me. I, I am a scientist of the ears. What about sounds you can't hear? Well, those aren't your problem. Those are your dog's problem. They, they listen for those. You listen for your own. Watch each other's back. You know? Gang, I walked outside today, outside of my house. I looked to my left. Big, stinky fucking dumpster with a bunch of skulls around it. Oh, what the fuck? I walked up to the dumpster with all the skulls around it. 
I look inside. Uh-oh, it says Chilla's art's been here. Oh no. Wait, them again? They did it again? They're still doing it? But I swore I'd never go back. But yet here I go, I put my hand in the dumpster, I reach in. Okay, and out comes another fucking game from this, like, this just, this thing. This thing. Another game comes out. Who? Dude. Chat's like fucking question marking. Oh my god, I can't even like do bits around here anymore because you guys don't even like recognize the names of the people that I play like every single game of. I literally can't do anything anymore. Can you guys do your fucking lore research for one second? Like, fucking, like, do anything. So that I can have fun too here, okay? Check the wiki, man. Check the wiki. Where's that Joe person you played with last stream? Joe? <laughs> Joe? <laughs> Joe mama! Joe mama, man! You got had! You've been had, man! Oh, it's so easy! It's so easy! You've been destroyed! Is it a full moon tonight? Cause chat's actually pissing me off and I use usually a fucking cosmic reason why, dude. Like it doesn't, it's usually, there's usually like a fucking problem in the air. Cause you guys, you guys like fucking really piss me off around the time of a full moon. It was last week. Well, how about you guys like check? Mercury is in retrograde. That's, your stream is in retrograde. <laughs> what does that even mean? What do you mean? What the fuck? People... Yeah, Saturn's in fucking protograde. Uh, uh, what? I don't know what any of that means. Making up fucking things. Fucking Mars is in Gatorade. Pluto is just south. <laughs> I got a weird feeling that Pluto is south and it's causing problems for all of us. Classic Scorpio Omegalo. Chat, I've been exposed to some high fucking concentration astrology lately, unironically. Dude, I, uh, I was in public and someone pulled this shit on me. And I was like, I had to look for a door. I actually, for the first time in my adult life, I had to actually check for exits. And then think of like a fucking evac point because like they started up and they weren't going to stop. I could tell they weren't going to stop. It was their thing, quote unquote. Oh my God. <gasps> I'm not telling the whole story. I can't. I, 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 it was, dude. Every time I go outside, I'm basically in a constant state of Krongo. <laughs> Just imagine me, I've got the Krongo face every fucking second of every day when I'm out there. I'm staring at people, looking right through them. Okay. That's me. I'm the Krongo. That's so sad. Have you looked out there recently? It's gotten real bad out there, chat. There's only two things going on right now out there, okay? Everyone's trying to reassociate, like figure out how the fuck it works out there again, like without all the bullshit. And people are getting, it's, it's getting to summertime and people are getting a little spicy out there, chat. People are getting a little spicy, okay? And it's a little uncomfortable for the rest of us, all right? People getting a little spicy out there. Summer, summer has come, and people have been locked inside the fucking, the, 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 the dumpsters that they, they're forced to live in for the last year and a half without any fucking physical contact. And now it's like the streets are fucking just, it, it, you can't walk 10 fucking seconds without just seeing some sh 
Let's just see some real spicy stuff, chat. Okay. It's everywhere. Why does it have to be like this, Congo? Yeah, it's pretty bad out there. Everything's going wrong again. Look, this is... We, we're... I hope that when society would resume its casual work again, we would, uh, you know, stuff would be a little bit better, a little bit different. It's back, it's back, baby, and it's worse than ever out there. A boring dystopia. I would disagree that anything's been boring lately. I'm watching people. F I'm watching people fucking wrestle over like chocolate bars out there, chat. Like you gotta be fucking kidding me. Like <laughs> this is gonna be this is gonna be a pretty wacky summer, okay? What, dude, chat? Look, instead of making me tell the story, let's just say I made that up, okay? And let's all just assume I made that up. Instead of, like, asking me to retell it. I'll just say I made it up for you, okay? I fabricated that one. That one was made by a team of writers or something. I don't know. At a certain point, my life looks like a parody. And I'm starting to like, look around for cameras like the Truman Show. And I I'm getting sick of it. So I'm just going to say I made it up instead and act like it doesn't happen. I don't want to look anymore. <laughs> Not this one. Blissful denial copium. Dude, there's something really fucking... There's something really good about seeing someone write blissful, then denial, and then copium, and then see that copium is fucking disabled. And, like, that's pretty blissful denial copium right there to fucking try to put that in with the goddamn emote that no longer exists because I destroyed it. That's fucking blissful copium denial right there. <gasps> Please. Copium never refreshed. <laughs> it's rained three days in a row here in Ohio. People luckily don't leave. No one, Ohio doesn't exist. Look, whenever someone says they live in Ohio, I know that they're a bot that I probably pay to come into the chat. Because no one, no one does that. I actively don't believe it exists. That's right. You pay for your bots, oh, mega lol. That's how they're so lifelike. Bro, I'm in Ohio. Check again. Huh? What happened? What happened? <laughs> if you look too hard, it'll start to fucking... Like, it'll start to fracture. And, and, and reality will start to break apart, and then you'll check a little bit closer, and you'll actually be in fucking Michigan or some shit, dude. Just slide up to Michigan. Oh my god. What the fuck? Ohio is the Finland of America. That is such a nothing fucking message. That That is... That... <laughs> I don't know what that really fucking means when I when I try to think about it. I don't know. And then people are coming in saying, "No, no, no, that ain't it." What? What do you what do you know? You have to have some serious fucking input on both Ohio, which is wild, and Finland, which is also wild, in order to catch that fucking entire line there. You'd have to have both. Which is like one person in chat, maybe. Ohio is the Mexico of Finland. Alright, I've had about enough of you. But he's right, chat, and we gotta give him some credit for that. This guy's right. Shit. It pisses me off that he's right. True, true. 
Drew. Tomorrow is going to be a fucked up stream chat. A game's coming out, a co-op game that uh, I have invited the only person. Like, I, if I didn't invite them, it, like, I, he would have fucking sensed it and shown up. Uh, me and Bed are going to be playing fucking, uh, playing a really funny game about being penguins uh, heisted. It's going to be a good time. I'm very excited. I was, when I saw it, I was like, this is this is a game that quite literally was made for bed. Not Joe? No, not Joe. Joe doesn't like me. <clears throat> Joe doesn't like me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He hates me. What happened? I called him a lot of mean names. I didn't think that would make him not like me, but I started yelling at him, and then like when I met him in real life, I pushed him over into some mud, and apparently that was enough to make him not like me. My, go figure. Like, what an asshole, you know? What a sensitive prick. I know! I know! I know! That's what I'm saying! I didn't deserve this kind of fucking treatment! Dude, I got mad today. I was thinking about something. Popsicles suck. Specifically, fudge pops suck. Okay? They're a, they're a poor man's ice cream cone, and I'm tired of acting like they're not. Okay? All right. Why don't we just own ice cream cones in our houses? I feel like they're not that expensive. And you probably save more money just having a gallon of ice cream. They don't even pop. Yeah, I mean... Eh. Fudgesicles are the only good popsicle. Uh, no. Look, here's the thing, chat. When I eat ice cream, I am, I am not a person that's super into fucking fruit ones. I'll take a strawberry, maybe. You get much more crazy than that. I'm done. I'm out of here. That's not really my thing. Uh, fruit can hang out on a popsicle. That's okay with me. Um, sorbet? Sorbet can do fruit. That's fine by me as well. But I mean, like, in a, to an extent, sh sor sorbet, sherbet, <laughs> and all the other, like, 40 different random made-up words that they have for ice cream that's slightly prepared in a different way, but even though it's all basically the same thing when you look at it carefully, um, like, they're, like, you put any of those on a cone, and it's a popsicle that's easier to carry around at, and all of the other stuff. And I don't have to worry about getting my hands all fucking dirty the entire time. Dude, a, a, a cone of ice cream at the very least has a chance of not getting all over me. A popsicle has about 30 seconds before it's ruined my afternoon. All right. What about freeze pops? What about freeze pops? Look at all the movies when a kid drops it. I've never dropped a cone of ice cream, and those kids are fuck-ups, okay? I've never seen a child drop a cone of ice cream in my entire life. Ever. Ever, okay? Because they're fuck-ups. And if I saw a kid drop a, a cone of ice cream at this point, I'd probably laugh because it never fucking happens. Then I'd feel bad, and then I'd, I, I mean, I wouldn't, I mean, I don't know if I'd get them another, all right? It's pretty hard to drop one. And you know what? You know what's the thing, chat? Right after dropping that cone of ice cream, I bet they never dropped another ever again. Ever again. That taught them a lesson they'll never forget. If an ice cream... Look, chat. Here's the thing. If an ice cream cone falls, or you lose a scoop off of that ice cream cone, it is not usually your fault. It is the server and scooper's fault. That's right. 
How, they are the ones that stacked it in an uneven manner. You call yourself a professional. You call yourself a professional. But yet you scooped this thing basically leaning Tower of Pisa style onto the goddamn cone, ruining my afternoon. Karen bit chat. Okay, here's the thing. If I asked for a cone, like a two scoop cone of ice cream, and one of them is basically already falling off when I get there, I'm gonna be like, can you like slide this thing a little bit more? Like, this is gonna, I'm gonna turn around and this thing is gonna fucking fall right on the ground. I'm gonna look like an asshole. And then one of you is gonna have to clean it up. I've definitely done that once in my life where I've been like, yo, this thing is gonna fall. And they're like, oh yeah, you're right. And they like slide it a little bit. I'm like, thanks. And they're like, no problem. Because they know as well as I do that if this thing falls, I'm gonna go, ah, dang. And I'm gonna leave and they're gonna have to clean up that sticky fucking ice cream off of like the hot concrete or floor. Worst customer. Chat, well, let me tell you one thing. Okay, what, like, <laughs> what do you mean worst customer? Just lick it upright again like a normal person. Dude, do you, I don't think you realize the volume at which sometimes someone can fuck up stacking an ice cream cone in real life. I've only got so much lick in me before it falls over. Let me speak to your manager gaming. That's never happened. I've never talked to a manager because I don't believe managers exist. <laughs> Because whenever I see someone ask for someone's manager, the person behind the counter says, they are not here right now, sir or madam. And then the person just leaves. The manager doesn't exist. I assume that when you get the manager role, you are actually fucking taken away. To some place it doesn't exist, like Ohio. Dippin' Dots is the perfect substitute. All right, lots of people sleeping on Dippin' Dots. All right, I'm going to be honest. One of the best out there. Oh, yeah. One of the best out there. The only good thing to come out of science in the last 40 years. Mm -hmm. Happy Martin with the 20 gifted subs. Thank you very much. Happy Martin for that. Very kind of you. Very kind of you. Extremely generous. Thoughts on waffle bowls. Just making things up as we go along now, huh? Okay, chat. <coughs> <coughs> only, I only have thoughts on cones of waffle. Okay. I've never tried a waffle bowl, so I have no input. I have none. But I assume it's as shameless as ordering a burrito bowl. Okay? Coward. Look at you. With your bowl of all the ingredients just in there. What are you so scared of? Scared of fucking reality? Coward. Why can't people enjoy things, Tomato? Why? Because I'm... Because... Because I'm here, okay? And I think differently than them. Alright? Because I'm around. Sociopath. You guys are crungo as hell today. Burrito bowl comes with more food, so you just order a tortilla on the side. Now that, now that guy's pretty good. All right, I'm gonna give that guy a, 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 a nod. That's a good one. But they're gonna catch on. They're gonna be like, wait a minute, well, hold up. We don't serve tortillas on the side, asshole. What do you want this tortilla for? And they're going to try to fucking stop you in your tracks on that one, I think. They never catch on. They probably just don't care. Dude, like, here's, like, if I ordered that, if someone ordered that in front of me, I'd be like, whatever. Like, I'm not about to start a confrontation with this random asshole that wants to, like, fucking wrap their own burrito for me. Like, I'm, I don't, I'm not going to start a fucking thing over this. 
That's I. Th that's I think how most people get away with most things at like stores where they're technically not supposed to do something, because the person that's working there weighs their options, and then they remember that they work minimum wage. And remember that there's absolutely no way they're starting a fucking confrontation for minimum wage. Now, if I was getting paid fucking extremely well at this at this made up place that I'm assuming is basically just Chipotle, and then someone asked for a tortilla, we're squaring up. I'm taking you down. I, if I'm getting paid enough, I'll do basically anything. I'll kill a man for enough money. It'd be a lot of money for that, though. Don't you Monka W me. You all would too. You put a random guy in front of you chat and then like fucking a billion dollars right in front of him. Not half you are gonna be like, oh yeah, sorry dude. Looks like we're done here. A billion dollars. I can, that's a lot of therapy I can afford and I'll still have change. What is the price of a life? Well, if it's untaxed, Dude, I, I really don't feel like getting fucking... I don't... I, I'm not really fucking... I don't know if I have the energy for this... For for the... The, the fucking... The, the bullshit that comes after whatever I say during this bit. <laughs> but yeah, if it was untaxed money... Fuck. It sort of depends. Like... Is that, uh, is that guy gonna be like, thanks for not killing me, here's some money. Because that does matter to me as well. I'd expect that if someone put uh, like a hundred million dollars in front of me, and the other guy was just on the other side shaking their head not to do it, I'd be like, all right, dude, like what's your offer? Cause this guy's offering me a hundred million to off you. What is your offer to not do that? And if he says like, my gratitude, pff, okay. If he says like a fucking nicely made dinner for two, Mmm. That's better than gratitude, but that's not much. Pfft. You know, you gotta... You gotta raise the stakes. You're going to get audited. Yeah, whatever, man. Whatever, man. I... I, I what are they gonna audit? Just hire an accountant. Yeah, that's true. The second you get audited, if you have an accountant, you just sort of say, I have an accountant, and the accountant just never answers the phone call from the government, and they don't have to worry about the audit. You win. The government's like vampires, okay? You have to let them in for them to actually be able to do anything. At least the IRS. Did you get a receipt for that murder? I mean, I probably would ask for one. If I was paid money to off someone, I would probably want like a transaction receipt so that like I know that I'm covered in the case of like an inquiry. But I'm assuming that if we're doing it above board and there's receipts, I'm totally fine to do it. I'm not gonna get in trouble. I don't like this murder. Can I return it? If you kill a bad guy, does that count as a charity tax reductible? Hmm. 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 Like, are we talking Jaywalker? Or like... Like, serial killer. You're... You're being a little overzealous with these write-offs. This guy was just a jaywalker. This guy was just a jaywalker. Like, you can't just keep writing all these off. You have to have some... There's some... You have to pick and choose a little bit here. Is this why Batman just cripples people and not kill them? 
Well, no, if I was Batman, I'd probably kill them because if anyone got a hold of my identity at any point, which seems so easy as Batman, the amount of lawsuits on my hand the second my identity got out there, that's probably what he's really scared of. Like, because if I have got my leg broken by Batman had to spend, like, fucking four to eight months in physical therapy, if he got outed as Bruce Wayne and I saw how much money he had, I'd be like, fuck this guy, dude. I'm suing him so hard. And I bet a hundred other people would do that and all of a sudden Bruce would not have money anymore. That's probably why Arkham Knight ended the way it did. I guess minor spoiler, no, massive spoilers for Arkham Knight, but I'm pretty sure the people that played that game and cared about it already beat it, and the ones that didn't will never play it at this point. Holy hell. Plug up your ears. If you care. At the end of Arkham Knight, Batman's fucking identity is outed, so he goes back to his house and either A, blows himself up, or B, which is far more likely, fakes his own death. And, uh, man, really cool of you, Bruce. Everyone's fine. Like, fuck yeah, I can finally sue this asshole. He's so rich. I'm going to get some money and finally end my life of crime because I'll finally be able to support my family. And then Bruce, he just explodes himself in front of everyone. He just explodes himself in front of everyone. Like, won't let anyone have his money. <laughs> Like, what a psycho. Lower class owned yet again. Every tomato stream starts with a Batman rant. Look, I'm saying if you played any of the Batman Arkham games, you'll realize that the only way that they can make these fucking things like goons someone you want to beat up is by making them all like mustached evildoers in their dialogue they're always like mm -hmm, yes yes it's crime time but like <laughs> because the second one that's like yeah i'm really excited to get back you know after i'm done with this job going back to my family my wife and child <laughs> batman fucking beats the shit out of him and you're like wow that sucked he was talking about his, like, family. And now he's unconscious for what seems like over fucking two minutes straight. Which means he has guaranteed brain damage. They actually do that. Yeah, I know. Some of them do. Then others are just, like, casually having conversation. And, like, sometimes aren't even on the way to your thing. But Batman knows that if he kills two more people, he's going to get another 12 XP points. And that's going to get him a nice new Batarang. So he will have to take a detour to beat the shit out of those two guys that are carrying weapons on a rooftop nowhere near anyone. Uh, in the middle of Crime City. In the middle of literal Crime City. Like, Batman went in Arkham City. He goes into their zone and beats the shit out of them for having guns in Crime City. It's Crime City. Like, it's, they're allowed to have guns because it's Crime City. Like, it, it's the specific spot the government made so that they could still pretend to do crime while, like, insane. Technically, by trying to enforce the law on them in Crime City, Batman was actually committing a crime. Naughty, naughty, Batman. Naughty, naughty. Naughty, naughty. But that's okay in Crime City. Shit! <laughs> God damn it! This fucking guy thought of everything! <laughs> Being a vigilante is already a crime. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Look, dude. 
the penguin was always such a lame villain to me. The penguin, the penguin's the only one, the penguin's the only one that acts like a fucking normal person for even some extent of time. Everyone else is like genuinely an unhinged psycho and the penguin's like, I like money. And like, that's a refreshing, that's a refreshing, you know, experience. I like money. That's it. The Riddler just really loves riddles. Dude, for real, if I had to deal with a fucking villain that just was always giving me some bullshit puzzle to solve almost every day, I mean, I don't fucking think I'd show up. Connor on DVD, thanks for the 25 gifted subs, Connor. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks. Maybe it entertains him? Well, dude, now what I'd do is I'd be like, hey guys, I'd go to like the fucking, I'd contact some very good like professor or something that knows puzzles really well and be like, hey dude, can you just like handle this one? The Riddler never like, he doesn't try to even punch you. So I really, I don't need to, I don't need to do this one. Someone that, like, doesn't have any experience in fighting can handle this one. I'll just send in some random guy that's good at fucking puzzles to do it. Whatever. Like, I'll just pull out my phone and, like, look it up. Go to, like, a Reddit for, like, ARGs or something and, like, post a picture of the thing there and everyone will be like, Dude, you just fucking turn the knob four spots to the left or whatever and the entire machine turns off. It's whatever. Okay. Would he get mad at you using like the, like just fucking posting his bullshit? Probably, but I mean, that's the way it is out here. Dude, for real though, we can all agree that fucking Two-Face is the most toxic villain, right? It's not the Joker. Two-Face is the most toxic villain. I'm gonna be so mad if Two-Face wastes my whole night. With, like, if I'm like a hostage in any situation and he's wasting my whole night and I'm like, well, I'm gonna die at the end of this, so whatever. And then at the very end, he flips a coin and he says, shit, I gotta let you go. I'm gonna be so fucking mad that he wasted my whole night for that. Like, I'm the, I'm out here fucking dangling over some acid and he's, and I'm like, just asking him, hey, when are we gonna finish this up? He's like, I'll get to you on that as soon as I flip this coin. And it lands on fucking tails like, ah, oh, shit. All right, bring him down. And he brings me down and makes me leave. And what if I'm like, no, I wanna see what happens next. Put me back up there. It's not like anyone ever dies. <laughs> it's not like we're in the video game. No one ever dies. We're in the video game reality. So just put me back up there. I wanna see what happens. And he's like, no, you have to go home. I'm calling you an Uber right now. You have to go home. You landed on heads or tails or whatever. I have to let you go. What? Yeah. Fucking, this is like $2 million worth of like equipment and he's letting people leave because they landed on tails. What if I just splash acid on the other side of his face? Does that fix him? Cause right now he's just a shitty villain. One face. Dude, <laughs> I, I, one day I might, I mean, look, it'd be so cursed. I'd have to, oh, it'd be so bad. Surely someone's already done a D&D &D character like Two-Face that actually does coin flips for all their decisions. Jesse basically did it for Cheezle at a certain point, but I wonder if anyone's ever kicked it up a notch to every single fucking decision the person makes is a really cursed coin flip. Like, no matter what, uncompromising. Isn't that the DM? Yeah, well, I mean, to an extent, I mean, it's not the same when it's the DM doing it and not the player. 
I might, dude, one day, if I ever have to make a throwaway character for something, I'm doing it. <clears throat> Roll a D9 to choose alignment per session. Every long rest, my character's alignment shifts. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, that, <laughs> that is so cursed. I mean, that is, that is ultimate chaos. That's a true chaotic character. Every long rest, the character rolls a 1d9. And they wake up as the alignment they landed on. That'd be so fucking, that'd be the hardest RP I think someone ever does. Like having a cohesive character that does that and isn't just like schizophrenic, but is instead like just shifting their morals as a result of that flip would be a really hard fucking RP to do. Cause I think doing it as like multiple personality would be sort of like, you wouldn't want to just be like, I'm fucking John today. Cause I landed on chaotic evil. I, I don't like things now. Like I, I think you'd still want to be like an actual character that's cohesive, but just shifts their moral compass based on what they land on. That would be a lot harder to do than just being like, okay, I landed on eight. That means I'm fucking Paul, the, like the fucking lawful neutral guy today. You'd want to have continuity. Waffle neutral? I heard waffle neutral. Not nah, chat. I said falafel neutral. Oh my god. Fuck, I can go for a fucking falafel. Holy shit. Oh, I could slam a falafel right now. Or a waffle. There's no good waffle places near me, and I don't, I'm not very good at making waffles. And by not very good, I mean I'm too lazy. Why? Hear me out. The waffle. I don't know about that one, man. That sounds pretty chaotic stupid. I can't believe you say that. Waffle equals thick pancake. So fucking wrong and delusional. Dude, okay, here's the thing. If I have to, ch if I go to a nice place that does breakfast and they have pancakes or waffles, you know. I'm taking advantage of a place that knows how to make good fucking waffles every time. Cause I'm gonna say to myself, pancakes, even a fuck up like me can make a good pancake. It's just the mix. And like, it, 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 that one's a lot, there's less, it's hard to make a good waffle the same way it is. It's, it's a little easier to make a good pancake. I'm not saying it's fucking like you can do it with your eyes closed, but it's a little easier to make a good pancake than it is to make a good waffle without fucking up the shape, the mix. He's never heard of a waffle iron. That's not the point I'm making. I'm not, uh, the point I'm making isn't that waffle irons exist. It's just flat out more complicated to make a good waffle. Oh God, the mail game. Don't know if they patched the bug, but make sure if you ever ride the elevator, you stay as close to the center of it as you can. There's a clipping bug that screwed like two other streamers I saw. It wouldn't be a chillest art game without an unbelievable bug. It says there, an, there was an update on June 27th. That says they got, it says they fixed it. Easy. 
Wouldn't be a chillers art game without the game barely functioning. Look, dude, it's like I can't even complain about chillers art anymore because these games cost like two dollars. I'm like walking in and buying like a fucking Happy Meal and then expecting a masterpiece, and I just can't. I gotta go in expecting a fucking like choking hazard of like a Happy Meal toy in there, and then I'm like, that's fine, and then I turn it off when I'm done. It's bargain bin. Tomato eats the entire box. Dude. Ew. I, I was just thinking about edible boxes, like to cut down on pollution, and I just, I was like, immediately, I was like, nah, 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 nah. Too much fucking, too much shit for people that other people other than you to touch. Too much surface area on that thing. Always stale, never gonna happen. Makes you think of cereal straws. Those were a terrible idea and I got mad even as a child whenever I saw them because I knew the logistical fucking, the logistical work behind it was flawed. Yeah, right. Look, dude, I was a simple child, okay? I figured it out early that I wasn't a cereal guy. Didn't do it for me ever. All right. What I did was a, a, a fucking Nutri-Grain bar too, some sort of cereal bar, okay? A blueberry flavor or something, something simple. Two of those, and a hearty glass of orange juice, all right? And that was enough to hold me over until I ate a fucking, like, lunch in the fucking cafeteria, which was always the exact same thing because they had my cafeteria, the, the people there that set it up knew what they were doing, okay? In that there was the meal that was always different every day that sucked and no one ordered, and then there was chicken patties. I had one of those every day for four years straight. Usually two. I'd usually double order because I needed two of them to survive. The amount of protein I was getting in my body daily was pretty fucking crazy. <laughs> They sucked where I am. It depended on the brand. Some people got shitty Tyson brand or whatever. Some people got fucking dumpy Tyson brand and got some trash. I don't know what brand it was that my school had, but it was good. And I would have, I would unironically eat it now. What's going on, Manda? What's going on? Tomato, complain about school lunches. No, because I don't have any fucking input on school lunches because I only ever order chicken patties. And when I walked in and they said, we don't have chicken patties, I'd say, ha 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 Nah, really though. <laughs> nah, really though. You're joking, right? You're doing us, you're doing a funny, right? And they say, we're going to have chicken patties again in the next lunch because there's three lunches in my school. And I'd say, that's good. I'd leave. I'd then make an excuse to go to the bathroom during my class, which would start during third lunch, and I'd come back in to eat then. We had three lunches in my school. I would, I would, not three for every student chat, three as in one, like three periods of lunches that you could have depending on what class cycle you had during the day. Stupid idiot. Dumb idiot. Uh, stupid, stupid, stupid. You're ordering food again, Manda? I hope today goes better for you than yesterday. I hope, I truly do hope today is a better day for you, but I mean, knowing how it's been, I mean, like, did you see any like really bad omens today though? Like when you woke up? Cause like, <laughs> cause like, I mean, if you see like, if you see something on fire outside, Maybe wait a minute. I did play like 10 hours of Overwatch, so maybe. Oh yeah, no, that's like an apocalypse scenario. I, uh, oh my, 10 hours of Overwatch? 
Jesus Christ. That's a lot of Overwatch. I play like you dragged Dave in with you. It's not my problem. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about it. You guys have like shifted into a time zone that I'm no longer a part of, and a part of me miss is part of me sad, and another part of me is so fucking happy that like it's freeing me from your curse. I'm like I'm 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 freeing myself from the curse just from watching you shift to another time zone, and it's someone else's problem. And by someone else's, I mean Dave's. I'm free. I woke up this morning to see Gmart be mean, and I went back to sleep. Yeah. Yeah, they did. They, Manda, chat for context. Manda was talking about how terrible her fucking day was yesterday, such as the pizza delivery person asking her if she had ordered pizza and then stealing the pizza after they asked if she had ordered some, uh, and her losing a bunch of progress on art. And Gmart's response to that was, this isn't worth scrolling up for, and I regret doing it. Bro. That's some sociopath shit right there. That's insane words. And I was laughing. I started laughing, dude. I started laughing. Let's play eight ball. Dude, the only eight ball I go near is magic eight ball, okay? Trust that shit with my life. I mean, there's definitely been a parody Batman villain or something that uses a magic eight ball to do. Like, what if I threw out Two Face's coin? What if I. What if he flipped it and I grab it, okay? I catch it in my mouth. What the hell? And then I pull out a magic eight ball. And I put that in his hands instead. And I nod. And he's forced to get asked again later 14 times as everyone leaves the room. Not this time. <laughs> the old Verp classic. Yeah, I mean, Verp would catch it in his mouth. I wouldn't, I, I am, I'm not a germaphobe, but I, I'm, uh, I'm a human that understands what germs are and where they come from and probably wouldn't get that anywhere near his mouth in a million years. Then again, I guess we're all sort of germaphobes uh, nowadays. <laughs> I, I'm going to assume most people are sort of closer to that than the other side right now. I've been in basically a constant state. You know that Invader Zim episode where he gets the germ goggles? That's been me. That was me all this last fucking year and a half. So I don't know what the, who I'm trying to fucking, who I'm trying to fool out here. I, I, I've been the guy who's like, was that thing sanitized in the last fucking two minutes? And, and then like spraying it down again. So, hey, I mean, it kept me, it kept me clean. I've been, I didn't even get a fucking winter cold last year. I haven't gotten any of my seasonal fucking guaranteed colds this last year. And now I know it's gonna all come back swinging as soon as I open these doors again. You did have that scare where you thought you might have had COVID. I very likely did. Like, to be honest, the more I think about it, chat, I probably did have COVID during that, but I, I just didn't have a very bad instance of it. Like, there's actually a very high chance that I just, because my sister had it in the same house, and I was, like, close to her over the time that she was contagious, like, directly next to her. So, I mean, very high chance I just had it and fucking, like, isolated, so it was fine.
is this a segue back to spaghetti waffle bit? What are you talking about? When it, when was that even a bit? Spaghetti. When did I talk about spaghetti today? Spaghetti sucks. Dude, worst pasta in the entire game. Wannabe linguine. Okay, wannabe linguine can't even do it right. Pathetic and bad. I'm unsubscribing. It, it It's not angel hair. It's not linguine. It's nothing. Okay. All it is good for is being a choking hazard that reminds me that my esophagus is not as powerful as any other fucking animal on the entire planet. I'm constantly in a state of almost dying every time anything goes in my mouth. Okay. What about lasagna? Dude, imagine being like, he, wait, if he doesn't like fucking spaghetti, how the hell does he like lasagna? When like, and then like put a, like a strand of spaghetti next to a slab of lasagna. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Do you not chew? Chat, it's not about chewing. It's the fact that spaghetti has these strands that can sometimes just be like, ah, oh, yeah, I'm going half down there. And you're like, ugh. <clears throat> not actually like choking, but you're like, it's half down there. Like, it, 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 sometimes spaghetti just does that. Oatmeal S tier pasta. Oatmeal sucks so bad, I wish it didn't exist. I wish it didn't exist. Because then I wouldn't have had to have dealt with it when I was a child. You know that age where you're at, where you're like, your parents refuse to accept you don't like something because they think you're just being a picky little shit? That was me with oatmeal. I was, every day I was like, Mom, I don't like oatmeal. You like oatmeal, you just don't know it yet, kid. And then they, <laughs> here comes some more oatmeal. Oh, I learned quick I didn't like oatmeal. It can go to hell. And anyone that likes oatmeal can go down there and wait for it, okay? I'm done playing your games. I'm not a big breakfast person. There's only a couple things that deserve to be breakfast. Okay, that deserve to be served in that time slot. I'm talking about the pancakes, the waffles, eggs, omelets, scrambled eggs. If it's got egg in it, I'm in. You son of a bitch. I'm in. How do you like your eggs? Oh, over, easy. If that yolk comes out hard, dude, I'm gonna be the guy that's like, you gotta take this back. Like, I would actually, dude, like, I don't do that for anything, but a hard overcooked egg, it might, I'm not paying for that. You're getting me a new egg. <laughs> it is not hard to cook an egg right. You give me, you bring out fucking hard yolk. If I ordered something with egg in a restaurant and it comes out hard yolk, you're fucking making me a new one. I don't care. That is the one thing I don't budge on. Uh uh. Do it yourself then. Dude, imagine telling that, imagine <laughs> having a restaurant. Someone says, excuse me, this egg wasn't prepared the way I wanted. And then the fucking chef yells, do it yourself then. Wow, dude, I know I'm never coming back to this restaurant again in my whole life. <laughs> I'm never ordering from this place ever again. <laughs> this guy just forgot he's running a restaurant. I would be even more deeply concerned if I was eating there at the restaurant and saw that happen to someone else and then the guy said, fine, and stands up, puts on a fucking like hairnet and goes back there and starts cooking meals back there instead. I would, I'd be like, whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> I, no, no, I don't know what's going on. Does anyone actually work here? I look around, no one's in a uniform. They're all just walking around in normal clothes. There's no, this chef owned them all, dude. There was never an actual employee here ever. He fucked up one meal and then tricked everyone else into working. Socially hacked, actually fucking hacked. 
<laughs> Dude, look. I don't know. I used to live... No, I still do live next to a really, really, really good place that does breakfast, and they've never fucked up my eggs. Okay? So it's like, then when I get an egg, and it is a solid slab of egg, like, basically... The kind of egg you'd find in a breakfast sandwich, okay, but on a plate. You're gonna ruin my whole day with this shit. Like the yolk is pierced. It was, it, there was never any chance. That's a sad fucking egg. You know what I mean? Can't stream on account of hard yolk, maybe tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, no, like, it, definitely, there are things that you just have happen in your life in the morning that definitely can ruin your whole day, right? Like, that, that shit just happens. You have things that happen in your life where you're just like, well, this fucked up everything. cold coffee nah lukewarm coffee i can do iced coffee or even cold coffee but if it like if it's now just like room temperature room temperature anything is pretty much poisoned in my mouth and i will fucking i will not be able to do that but i mean you know that's coming and you put ice in it tea and coffee can both be quickly converted into iced beverages if you have ice around so if you're not gonna make it for when it's hot just toss some ice in it when it's room temperature and fucking repurpose that shit. Okay? Room temperature fruit? I mean, that's not the same. I'm talking drinks. And some foods. I can't do cold pizza. A lot of people I know do cold pizza. Ew. You're an animal. Stop it. Gross. Savage. Why? Depends on the pizza. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I disagree. I cannot. Here's the thing, though. Cold pizza implies to me that you are not powerful enough to finish the whole thing in one go. I, on the other hand, am plenty strong enough to, to, that pizza's never making it to cold. It never does. So I don't have to do that, okay? By eating a cold pizza, you're admitting defeat. You already lost. Tomato always wrong. Tomato eats an 18 inch pizza in one sitting. I easily could. Chat, my metabolism is so powerful. And I, you can quote, you clip this, uh, and fast forward me in five years and post it in my chat, okay? But right now, it's so powerful, okay? It's a curse. I, I can eat so much and I still won't be hungry, okay? I'm a young man, I'm a young grown boy. And uh, if I don't constantly have an intake of carbs, my weight will drop back down to like 160 and I'm 6'1", so that's a little low. I gotta eat a lot to maintain this like 173 weight that I try to be at at all times. Aren't you like 40? 25 was when my metabolism gave. <gasps> uh oh. Well, then it looks like I've got about two months, maybe one. <laughs> Got two more months to live like a king. Nah. Chat, here's the thing. Uh, my physical build is very much like my uncle, and his metabolism never stopped, really. So, as far as I'm concerned, until my body tells up tells me otherwise, directly in front of a mirror, I'm uh I'm rolling 
I'm rolling with that one. The problem is I have the sodium curse, as in my blood pressure is constantly about, if I get a prick, a little needle, uh, in my body, anywhere, any blood starts flowing out of me, it sprays out like a fire hydrant. I could kill a man. I could cut a man in half with the pressure of this goddamn thing. Easy. But I mean, pretty good deal in the grand scheme when you think about the fact that I, I, my metabolism is fast enough that I don't have to worry about certain things. I just instead have to worry about my daily intake of sodium and shit instead. It's a trade-off, you know? <sighs> it, that seems like you should be concerned. Yeah, chat. Hey, guys. You got any other doctor's advice for me? You know, it's not like I have very well-documented on-stream, on-the-record statements about my blood pressure. <laughs> it's, not like I've, it's not like I've talked about this in detail to the point where I very obviously know exactly what I'm talking about, my whole deal, because I'm active in taking care of my body. Can you lend me your metabolism for a week? Dude. <sighs> no. Never. Never. Have you tried not having high blood pressure? Literally the last time, look chat, you know what? I got it right here. I've been streaming, so it's probably elevated right now, but I'm gonna check what my blood pressure is right now. Let's put the thing on. You guys gonna hear my fucking arm get crushed. I'm gonna check it live. Let's just, let's see for ourselves how fucked I am today. Last night when I did it, uh, when I checked it, cause I check it, I check it like every other day. No. Yesterday, it was at a smooth 120 over 82, no 79. Which is pretty good. We'll see how it is right now. I've reclined. I'm in the I'm in the the blood pressure checking position. I usually land right on the danger zone. Right on the spot where I'm a little higher than I should be. But I'm going to assume my blood pressure elevates when I'm talking. So I now I'm mainly just curious. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It failed to give me a reading. Chad, it says I'm E2. I don't know what E2 means. Huh. Now it's coming up with a skull and crossbones. Hang on, everyone just be cool. Everyone shut up. I'm going to do this one without talking. All right, everyone shut up. I got to send out. You guys, are, you guys are freaking me out. I'm gonna, you guys are freaking me out. I'm starting to black out. I'm panicking. Shut up, everyone. Shut up. It's going. Thirty over like 82 while I'm streaming while I'm talking which n inevitably raises your blood pressure naturally that's not bad for for being live and talking your blood pressure goes up when you're doing stuff like this so uh that's not bad my resting blood pressure when I'm not doing anything is usually 117 over 78 which is what it says is my average which is what I aim for because that's just that's about as low as I can physically get uh with my body and i and i i am a i literally oh yeah i know blood pressure is i know sometimes i'll sometimes i will have a day where i wake up and i check my blood pressure and it's like oh it's 150 over like 90 and i'm like oh this is the day where it sucks for today 
Like that, that, that's totally normal for me. The important thing is if you're checking your blood pressure, you check it like weekly and you get like an actual average of what to expect and then check it from there. And if it stays elevated over the course of an entire like month, then you've got something that you can eyeball, you know? But look, the point is, I know my body. I know my problems that I'm gonna have. It's not a problem. I, 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 it's, it bothered me for like a, I, I only noticed it like a year and a half ago over like winter of last year, right when, right around all COVID season started up. And uh, it freaked me out then. And then I adjusted my fucking diet so much that I lost like 20 pounds. Cause I started eating like, I started eating as if I was trying to become like the perfect definition of human health. And I, I lost a ton of weight cause it just wasn't, I was like, I was only achieving the exact, exact amount of nutritional requirements of a day to the 100%. Cause I was like, just curious how much I could change it by doing that. And the answer was a lot. I like over the course of two months, my whole diet shifted like crazy. And I was like, wait a minute, I don't need to do it perfectly. I just need to watch just one part perfectly. You know? It sucked. Oh yeah, I was eating. I, the What I was eating was like fucking totally boring. It was a lot of almonds, a lot of almonds. I had a lot of, I had a lot of almonds in my system by the end of it. I don't really like almonds that much. They're like the most boring of the nuts. Because it's not like I could eat them with salt. <laughs> it's, it's, I, I was eating these unsalted raw almond. Okay. Cashews are better. I mean, cashews are the best nut in the game. Chat, no one's out here arguing that cashews aren't the best. As far as isolated nut on table, cashews are the best one, followed by pistachio. Followed by macadamia. Then you get your peanuts. And then you get the rust TM. I've tried almond butter before, like peanut butter, but it's almond butter. That wasn't good. That, that one, uh, that one. That one uh, didn't really do it for me. That one sort of fucked me up. Peanuts are not nuts. What the hell is this freak talking about? <laughs> I see this guy, look at this guy over here. What the hell? Peanuts are beans. Peanuts are legumes. Dude, this is... You guys are pissing me off today. Like, who fucking cares? This is like that shit that like a fucking kindergartner says to their teacher because they think they're smarter than them for a minute. And everyone's like, no one fucking cares. Shut the hell up, sit back down. It says peanut on the name. I don't care and it doesn't matter. Shut up. Dude, dude, peanuts are a bean, dude. Yeah, how about you put some goddamn peanuts in your burrito then, freak? like beans so much. That actually, they're actually pretty nice pad thai burrito. I actually don't think peanuts would be that bad in a burrito. 
unironically. Bananas are beans, smile. <laughs> Sounds like it basically everything's a bean. <laughs> Sounds like I said I'm a bean, all right? I'm, I'm just gonna say it. There's a high chance we're all beans. <laughs> My coolant is beans. I put beans in this PC. Filling this PC with beans. His blood pressure reading is bean. <laughs> Dude, I turned on Risk of Rain 2 yesterday because I was curious about, like, the new stuff, and then I downloaded mods. Dude, what the fuck's going on over in that game, man? What the hell is happening over there? I didn't even know if I liked it. <laughs> I, I, no, it's like, it's not the game's fault, but I turned on, like, mods, and I was Vegeta, except he had the bad guy shirt on, and I... Start punching enemies in the face as Vegeta in Risk of Rain 2. And I was winning. And then I got the Majin. I, then I transformed into Majin Vegeta. And it said, you will have, this is going to cause problems soon. It's like, that can't be that bad. I probably just like can't upgrade anymore or whatever. No biggie. And then like all of a sudden I started getting fucking flash screens of Bobbity yelling at me to like fucking do his chores and stuff. And it's like, this is still pretty bad, but it's not that big of a deal. Then I pressed V to do my like ultimate to kill something. And I forgot that Vegeta's V, his ultimate attack as Majin Vegeta is actually suicide. So I was like fucking two hours into a really long game and I pressed V and Vegeta was just like, I'm fucking ending this one. And then he blew himself up and I got a Zenkai boost or whatever. And I was like, shit, dude, that means I'm not dead. I'm going to come back to life. But he stayed dead. <laughs> He stayed dead because he died. He Zenkai'd and died. So I'm just like standing there, D. Colon, staring at Vegeta's fucking completely destroyed corpse. Dude, Vegeta's such a fuck up. <laughs> like, I can't believe Dragon Ball Z even exists, dude. Every character in that show is such like every fucking problem that happens in that show is a direct result of the main character's existence every single one of them if they all fucking if i got the dragon balls and i just said hey can you get rid of these like eight guys suddenly no more problems on earth forever ever like just say i wish goku never existed Dude, Shenron can't kill. No, chat, because killing is meaningless because everyone can come back just as easily just by asking politely. Hey, can I go back to Earth for like a day? And then that day stretches out into four seasons and a movie. And it's like, okay, whatever, man. Uh, no, you have to say, I wish they never existed in the first place. And then it's not killing. It's simply causing something to not exist anymore, which I think is different. Well, Goku did end the Red Ribbon Army. Ooh, good for you, Goku. You ended one army. I'm sure that's going to fucking end all crime and war and pain forever. Really good stuff, Goku. Hey, Goku. Hey, Goku. The two guys that showed up on your fucking lawn after you fucking, like, outed all of your secrets into a scouter that then, like, all that information was in, like, travel across the galaxy. They blew up, like, fucking 12 cities on the way to casually go and kill you. Hey, dude. The amount of shit Goku defeated King Piccolo. He wanted to conquer the earth. Guys, whenever someone's like, I want to conquer the earth, I laugh and I say, yeah, good fucking luck. Like, you, you are one person and that's a lot of fucking real estate. You're going to have a lot of trouble doing that. You'll probably get bored or lazy and give up. Why would you even want to at that point? Vegeta gets a good character arc too. Well, yeah, I'd get humble real quick too if I was constantly fucking up and looking like a complete fuck boy every 10 seconds of every single episode. I'd get humble real quick, probably over the course of two or so seasons. 
Like if every time I showed up and I was like, I'm super Vegeta. I'm super Omega Maximum Vegeta now. And then the second I threw a punch, my arm was broken into in like 12 different spots. And I fell on the ground and started frothing at the mouth from the pain. I'd probably immediately internalize to stop saying I'm super, super, super Vegeta from now on. You know, I'd probably hold that line. You know? I'd probably stop. Goku gave Cell a senzu bean so he could beat up his son faster. <laughs> I, I, I still, even as a kid, I got mad at that scene. I'm telling you guys, if Goku just didn't exist, like, everything would be better. Like, genuinely. Everything would just be better if he didn't exist. He's such a fuck up. Oh yeah, Vegeta is a good father at least. No, he isn't. No, he fucking isn't. Everyone saw when he turned into Majin Vegeta and casually blew up an entire fucking audience as his child was watching. No, he isn't. He's like the worst. He's just as bad. They're all bad. There wasn't like a single Saiyan that was cool. Not one. Every single Saiyan that's like every single one of them is either a socially inept to the point of basically like imp like they can't function in society or b like just chaotic evil like <laughs> There's only two Broly though Dude, Broly did nothing wrong. You guys keep saying it, but like, I mean, he was fucked up too in a lot of ways. Just he didn't know what the fuck was going on. You know, he was literally insane. Gohan turned out okay, but he was not 100% sane, chat. Do your goddamn research. Base genetic Saiyan is just asshole, apparently. According to the writers, they're either assholes. No, I'd say Goku's an asshole. I, he's not a fucking malicious asshole like Vegeta, but he's an asshole. Okay, he's still an asshole. There's so many things that these characters do where I'm like, what a fucking ass. Why are you doing this? You know? What about Kaba? <laughs> I, now I know someone didn't unironically come in here and ask me something about fucking super. Now I know someone didn't just do that. What about Kaba? He's nothing. He's less than nothing. <laughs> yeah, what about Tarple though? What about my boy keeping it real Tarple? Wasn't he made as like a, for like a promotional like anniversary show for 30 minutes? Didn't they like fucking magic him into existence, the writers? So that Vegeta could go, ah shit, over the course of the last 30 years of my life, I forgot my brother Tarple existed and was alive. Dude, the true hero of DBZ is Farmer with a Gun. Okay, and I think that's a good point to move on to the game. We can all agree the only one that ever did anything right was Farmer with the Gun, and he got done dirty. The true hero is Mr. Satan. No! Mr. Satan was a fucking ass. I'm gonna be, I'll tell you that right now. Um. Fuck him. As far as character, like, everything about him goes, he can go to hell. Like, funny character, but he, he's an ass. 
Okay. We're playing night delivery. You guys like delivering packages? You guys like delivering fucking boxes? You, you guys like boxes? You guys like delivering boxes? Now I know you like boxes. I'm only here for the podcast part. Dude, think about this like a podcast with uh, visuals. Otherwise known as a, as a show, though. We're playing Death Stranding. Guys, all right, here's the thing. Unironically, if they made a director's cut, like remake thing for Death Stranding, I would stream specifically my time hunting for spots to fuck over other players' lives. Because I did that last time, and it was the most fun I had in that game, and I would do it again. Except this time I'd stream it if I did it. I would just spend the whole time trying to create just these cruel fucking ladders to nowhere and seeing how fucking angry people get. Anyways, chat, Night Delivery. It's a game made by Chilla's Art, so wherever your expectations are, grab those and slide them down. Okay. Lower. 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 <laughs> too low. Low, too low. Bring it back up a little bit. There. Okay. Keep it there. This game costs as much as like a burger. Okay. I'm gonna take a sippy of this water. Okay, sewer game. <laughs> I would liken these games to sewer games, yeah? Night delivery. I play as a 31-year-old delivery man. Okay, use mouse WASD for movement. It's so fucking dark. Plus, press left mouse, mouse button to interact. Hang on, options. Graphics, texture quality, 100%, and take off this VHS filter. I, do I, No, I hate the VHS filter. Keep the graphics quality low. Wait, does it even matter? Ew! No, let's keep that at 100%. Yeah. VHS filter stuff uh, sucks, uh, at least as far as streaming is concerned. I think most people will agree with me on that. Uh, I can't stream with that on. That, that just isn't going to happen. Now, can I go to my resolution? No. But it seems to be already recognizing it <clears throat> as fine. So, I mean, hang on. Let's compare it again. Let's see here. Maybe it's not that bad on this one. It's not terrible... Because it's not, like, super noisy. But I feel like... It's alright. This isn't as bad as some of them get. Some of them get fucking gross. But it's still... I'm still not gonna leave it on. Time for another day delivering... Am I floating? Oh, no. I went up steps. Time for another big day. This is my last stop. Chat. After I deliver these five packages, I'm clear. End of the day. I'm done. I might need to actually... Hang on. Uh, I feel like the brightness is a little low. For you all. There we go. A tiny brush stroke. That's it. It's like a little low to the point where I can't even see the details on the stream. So I'm I, I, just a tiny bit. Package A. Deliver this package. Yes. Last stop, chat. Press tab to open your inventory. You can also switch items by using your mouse scroll. Last stop. Room 206. Package for room 206. 
Where the hell? That must be the apartment. Hello? Hello, I have a small package for a cat. Hey! Re really? I'm gonna get scared off from opening this dumpster by one cat just taking fucking stock unity swings at me? Whatever, man. Room 206, over here we have 102. Which room is this? 206, we gotta go up to the second floor then. Check my corners, don't want anything sneaking up on me. Backyard's fine, nothing weird back here. Not like I could see anything back there if I wanted to. It's probably nothing, chat. Let's uh, get up to 206 and get this box delivered. Ah. Uh. Oh, nice, we have an elevator. I don't need that. I feel like that's how you get, like, jumped by a monster. Room 206, 203, 205, wait, where the hell? Yeah. 203, 205, that was 204. 204, what a, 206, uh, they skip the number four. Why? It's all odds. Wrong! Four is an unlucky number, so they remove it often. Dude! What, do they also fucking- Does everyone also hold their breath whenever they go into a cemetery? Like, get over it! <laughs> I have a delivery! Doorbell intercom knock on door. Not yet. Delivery. I got a box for you. I'm putting it inside the room now. All right, here I go. Hello? What? <laughs> the hell? Someone made a we I heard a weird sound. I'm gonna knock on the door. Hello? How do I drop a package on the ground? I don't need to give it to them, do I? Open the door! Open the... Anyone? What's good, my man? A next time, answer your fucking door. It's like 2 a.m. He's just drinking water. He just likes water. <laughs> you took way too long! Get the hell out of my face! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> What the fuck is- He's drunk on water. <laughs> he, he was drunk on water. I just got the shit kicked out of me. Whatever, man. One delivery done for the day. I've had enough walking. I'm going to start taking the elevator. Oh, yeah. Just about done with this. Yep, take me back down to ground floor. Why would I ever walk? When I can take the elevator. Every time. Back to the delivery truck. Cat's still... Oh, it's just a fan. It's just a fan making some noises. Why is my guy delivering this late at night, though? You know? Like, what's the point? Ah, uh, package B. Get this one out there. Night shift pays more. Wait, I didn't see where this one's going. 502. 502 would be way at the top. I'll climb the stairs one more time just to get some extra cardio in. You know, my body ain't... My body's barely holding on. Floor two. Floor three. 
Lauf. Oh. Elevator. Floor five. Which one's just going to 502? It should be right here. All right, lovely, lovely. Hello? Hello? Package? Hello? Ah, Jesus. Christ. What's good, lady? Thanks. I have a reward for your great service. You love cats, don't you? One keeps trying to attack me. Take it and be gone. Okay, lady. Take it and be gone. That is a huge cat. Thanks for the cat food. Bye. Is Japan weird all the time like this? Or is this just... Is this just like horror, uh, horror area Japan, like Japan, like spooky Japan? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna feed this to that cat so he'll like me. Like, I don't know. I'd probably just, I, if someone gave me cat food and I didn't own a cat, I'd probably just, I mean, I, I just open it and leave it somewhere for like a bear to find. Hey man, I got you some cat food. I didn't open the tin. You're gonna be. <laughs> That's what you get. Kohei, how are you doing? How's the new apartment? In the previous apartment, you had to move because the residents there weren't so kind to you. Is it okay this time? Before we were people. Before there were people who made a fool of themselves about disabilities and welfare, right? I said it many times before, you weren't the bad one. Don't blame yourself. Also, don't be impatient about getting a job. Kohei, you're my son. It'll be okay. Things will get better. Mom. Thanks for letting me read this, cat. You have a good day trying to open up that fucking tin. I wish you luck. He's never getting in there. Wind's starting to pick up, chat. Where the hell's this package going? Four oh one. All right, four oh one. Back on the elevator then. Hey there, sir. Beautiful day for it. I'm gonna go talk to that person. See what they're up to. Asshole. Imagine delivering packages without a dolly. I mean, this isn't exactly dolly accessible. And also, I'm a fully grown man, so I don't really want a dolly. I don't need one anymore. Hello? Help? Okay. This place is a shithole. Is this what it's always like? Just check my corners for weirdos before I, uh... Which one are we going to? 401? Why, that's the trash house. Okay. I'm not seeing any weirdos. I'm gonna use the doorbell intercom. Hello? Hello? Hey man, what's good? I got your box. <laughs> I'm s scared. Am I the only one? Aren't you scared? This whole place. It's like I'm becoming part of them. Never mind. Forget about it. Just take the fucking box. Oh, m me? I haven't left the room in. I, I don't know. I stopped counting. Dude, I didn't ask for a life story. I'm a delivery guy. Just take the box. Oh, right. You're here for a package. Don't know if I can t trust you and your parcel just yet. Talk to the priest. You tell me I gotta get fucking ordained to give you this box? Because it's going in the dumpster downstairs, sir. 
<laughs> you told me I gotta get, I, I'm gonna have to get cleansed. I gotta go talk to Jesus before you'll trust this box from Amazon Prime. Sir, sir, I'm from UPS. <laughs> I can't trust you until you talk to the priest. He said he lives in apartment number 105. Right. I don't think this box is kosher. Something off about this box. Where'd you get this thing? Whoa. One oh five, one oh five, one oh five. Looking for apartment one oh five. Cat's gone, took the can. <clears throat> one oh five. Apartment one oh five. Hello, priest. The priest here. <laughs> I see Michiru sent you here. I'm the local priest. Say no more. I can sense that the package is cursed. Do oh, do go on. Don't let me stop you. But I need to make an offering first before I can perform any sanctification of the object. Okay. Monetary, that is. Oh, go on. I need to get cash. I need cash. Okay. <laughs> before I can perform any sanctification on the object. Well, at least he's not fucking bullshitting me. I don't have money. I can look around in the backyards for change. It's fucking dark, but I can. Oh, hey. Hey. He needs food. You got money? Make the 501 guy pay for it. There's no way he's gonna give me money when he wants me to like fucking get ordained to even like give him a box, dude. What I can do, I bet, is go do one of the other packages first and then come back. Ha ha. Or maybe I have money inside my truck. No, I don't. Hello? Does anybody on the street have spare change? Anyone? How the hell did I, how the hell did I even get here? Probably one of the vending, look, there's like every, there's like a thousand vending machines in Japan, right? That's like the rules. I bet I can just like find cash somewhere. Or they really do want me to just go back to the guy and be like, hey, you have to pay me to do this. I guess that makes sense. I don't know. Oh, nice bike. I guess I'll go up and do that. He's the only guy that's active. Oh, bottle of water. Could I pay you in a bottle of water? Of delicious Poland spring water, sir? Well. Back to floor five. Dasani? Oh, you're right. This probably is Dasani. Ew, how are they still open? How do they still make money? Fucking Dasani. Gross. Dude, I need money. You spoke to the priest directly? How lucky you are. I've only exchanged words through the door intercom. So he needs money. Why, of course. What the priest says is always right, Garrett. Here, give this to him. Make sure to give it to him ASAP. I don't want the priest to be waiting any longer. Okay. 
Thanks for this big fake Monopoly dollar. I really appreciate it. This thing's bigger than the package. What am I giving him? This is the smallest package ever. Yep. Back down to floor one. Dude, this elevator goes down so fast it would lift you off of the air when you go down. Like that thing goes at like falling speed for a second. Here's a fucking $5,000 bill. Let me double check the amount. <laughs> I, I just have to check this. Wait a minute. What? This can't possibly be enough. Does Machiru really think he can get away with this? You're not really making me go back up there. This isn't enough. <laughs> Ask Machiru to bring me more money, Arthur. Yes, sir. I have five more deliveries to make tonight alone, but I'd love to do this back and forth between you two who are exactly as far away from each other as physically possible in this apartment. Um, I'd love to do that for free. I'm not going to get paid a tip for this. I, the, the elevator goes up. I immediately slam my head on the roof because it goes up so fucking fast like a rocket. Japan doesn't have tips. I, I'd be expecting some sort of payment after this much bullshit chat. I'm not doing this for free. What? It wasn't enough. Forgive me, priest. I hope this much will help. This is all I've got for this month. I have to ask my parents to give me more. Okay. I didn't ask for your life story, man. Because I don't care. Anyways, goodbye. Just two more trips up and down. And then I can move on to the other... De <laughs> other deliveries. This dollar is even larger than the last one. That's how you know it's valuable. This is an even larger dollar bill. This is a super dollar. Let me double check the amount. Wait. Oh, okay. Wait, never mind. That's enough. Barely, that is. I'll forgive him this time. Let us begin the ritual. Okay. I'm done. All right. Woo! Pfft. Now go away. Arise! Package! Package arise! Arise! Whatever, man. If it's whatever, as long as I get to deliver the package. 50 bucks, he's dead when I get up there. 50 bucks, this guy's gonna be dead. Or some bullshit, or a ghost is gonna grab me and kill me. One or the other. Hello? Machiru? I've got your box. <laughs> Professionally ordained or whatever. Forgive me, priest. I'm ready to take the package now. Now go away! <laughs> Sir? <laughs> you owe me money, sir! Okay, bye then. All that for a now go away. All that. And what I got in return was a now go away. I'm getting real sick of being bullied. What? Well, look, chat. Two more of these. Two more of these and we are clear. Is it going to start raining? Wind's really picking up, chat. Wind's sure coming down hard now. Package D. <laughs> uh, 
I've squished it down, the package, into a much smaller size, compressed it so it's easier to carry. Where's this one going? 305? I believe I can actually go up to floor 305 without using any elevators. And that's what I'm gonna do. 301? 302? 303? 305. Hello? Open the fucking door! You gotta be fucking kidding me with this today. Open the door, come on. Hello? I forgot to feed my dog. I forgot I have water for him, hang on. Hold that thought. I gotta get this water to the dog, he's probably really thirsty right now. Oh my god. Shit. I forgot to feed the dog. Stalling? Oh, oh, so you're telling me that, that it's more important that I go inside the spooky house than it is to feed this good boy. Fuck you, chat. Oh, hey. Have you got used to the new environment? You said you're doing your best to get along with everyone in the apartment. Did you get along well? I know that you are very kind. I hope other people can see that, can feel that too. Start with one person first. Also, it's okay to work slowly. You tend to think pessimistically. Try to think positive. By the way, how's the dog? Aikichi, was it? Show me the dog next time, okay? Bob. You guys trying to fucking keep me from feeding the dog water, sickos? I'm d I did the right thing. And now I have to sneeze. Hang on. I mean, I didn't feed him good water. I fed him Dasani. So I might... It, <laughs> it might it might prefer to not have any water at all, but it's getting Dasani. Oh, hey. That guy's fucking fast. That guy was fucking fast. Hang on, I'm gonna go check. See, maybe he's over here by my boxes. Hello? Quick boy? It's so hard to see anything out here in the darkness. Hello? No one. He's not here. Okay. Well, I'm, uh... Wow, the bu this bike scared me more than anything else in the whole game. So I turned the corner, saw that bike. And, uh actually jumped because I thought the bike was like a ghost with like a blanket over them and I was like <laughs> I like lurched bikes are scary dude one time I had a bike and I was trying to brake but one of the brakes the back wheel brake didn't actually brake and only the front one did so I flipped over on my bike and landed on my arms and really got really nasty cut in my arms on the pavement I was like this is scary and I'm not doing this anymore and then I did it again, it happened again. Same exact thing. And then I started saying, why the fuck do we, why are these not just connected? You know, that's why I started yelling as a child. Why do I, why do I have to trust that both of these lines will work? Why can't they just be on the same line? And then my parents were like, shut up, asshole. Stop crying. They didn't actually say that, that was pretty toxic. But, you know. Hello? You're gonna make a delivery? Okay, that's cool. That's really cool. I can't move. I'm just gonna throw the box in the house, then. I'll be right there. Hello? Oh, hey. Uh, there's your package. I've stretched it out for you. Oh, what's going on with your neck, lady? 
Brady, what the fuck are you? It's like a fucking, it's, it's like, oh, it's some sort of monster. Hey, what are you doing? That package, it's a bed frame. You're going to help me build it, right? Uh, did you pay extra to have the construction, the delivery person help you build your bed? Okay. I guess I'll help you. Do you not own lights? Where's the lights in your house? I'm not building it in the darkness. Okay, cool. It's light in there now, at least. Fucking hell, lady. I guess, where do you want this thing? <laughs> here? Here? Right here? Okay. Alright. I made the bed. We have blood dripping from the ceiling of the... Uh... Lady, you got like a leak here? And part of it is definitely a uh, chroma key JPEG of blood. I know because I own it myself. Um, you might want to call the cops on this one. Lady? 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 I'm supposed to get paid for helping you build the frame. You can't just leave. Lady, le whoa! What the hell's this? Burger game, guys. Remember, th this game costs the same amount of money as a burger. So, um... Sometimes uh, parts of this game are just going to be... like we, I remember, this game costs about the same amount of money as a burger. Okay, so you gotta drop your expectations a little bit. Come on. This game's a burger. Uh, I guess the lady left as soon as I made the bed so she wouldn't have to pay a tip, which is pretty bold. Um, let's see if it works out for her. Once I grab my fucking machete from the truck. Was there always a bike in the middle of the road down there that looks a little bit... Oh god, I told you guys it was the bike. I told you guys that bike was haunted and you didn't believe me. I told you all that bike was fucking haunted and you didn't believe me. Not one of you believed me. Look, I'll check underneath the fucking door frame. And... No, this bike's still here. Which means this bike's a new bike. Hello? Asshole parking bikes in the middle of the street. Whatever, man. One more box and I'm clear. Package E. Last box of the day. And we are free to live our own life. 202, easiest one to deliver. 202. That's right there. That's, where I, that's that guy that was on the balcony that was looking at me and then went back inside. You know what I mean? Excuse me, 202? 202? Hello? 202? I'm bl I blacked out. I think I lost. Wait. Ah, Jesus Christ! Hey, you... <laughs> your kid just... First of all, fast baby. Second of all, get him! What are you doing? Lady? Hello? My baby. You have to help me catch him. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. It's actually not my problem. I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. You can't ask me to do this. I, I, are you going to come with me? Or are you going to stand here with your fucking reptile feet? And watch. 
I think they're on the ceiling. All right, obviously we don't have time for this. I just heard it like scampering above me or something. Kid, where the hell did you go? It doesn't know how to climb stairs. That'd be unbelievable. But does it know how to climb, how to use an elevator? It probably went to the playground. That's where kids go, right? Kids go to playgrounds. Probably went to the back. Maybe it's hiding in like a dumpster. Kids do that. Nope. All right, that's one place crossed off. This kid's gone, guys. I don't know what to tell this lady because the kid's gone. This kid, I don't even, like it's not a hunting game. I don't see like footprints on the ground to track. All right, this kid was faster than I could process when he broke out that door. Like, I don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to find this one. Kid? You in the sand or something? Playing in the... Genuinely not here. He's in my car. He went to the car. He went to the car. He's stealing my car. I left the keys in the car. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Kid? Your time is up, kid. You didn't... No. No, I can't open it. It's fine. Kid. There's no... The kid's nowhere. Which means the kid has to be on the fourth or fifth floor. I'm like... This lady's staring at me as I'm walking around calling their kid like a dog. <laughs> Come here, boy. Come here. Come on. Hey. Hey. Come on. What the fuck? Let's check third floor again. Just to be sure. Kid. I heard you scampering. You can't evade me forever. Has anyone seen a baby? Anyone seen a baby around? Yay tall, faster than human eyes can process. Maybe they're in the elevator. I don't even know what I'm gonna do once I catch them. Oh yeah. Kid, come out right now. Don't, I'm gonna see him on like a rooftop on the other side of the fucking, I'm gonna see him somewhere else like really dumb in a minute, watch. Oh no, kid went, oh God, the kid's shoplifting. Uh, excuse me. Whoa, you see a baby around, man? Man? It sounds like a big baby, but that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, I see someone open. I see someone's door open on f um, the fourth floor, directly above the uh, where the blood stain would be. I think, which isn't great, but um, they're our best lead. Kid, are you uh burglarizing houses now, kid? 403. Kid, if you in here, you gotta make a sound or something. Because if I see movement, and it's low to the ground, and it ain't you, I'm gonna kick it. What is all this, uh, what is that, a picture of a nice fucking fridge? Fridge salesman's house. All right. Nice fridge. Toilet sink. Someone's playing bass. Uh, I'm afraid, afraid. I'm really hoping I don't open one of these doors and see a fridge or something. If I'm gonna be honest, that would really ruin my night. If I would open this door and see like a big fridge or, oh, it's just a pile of ooze. I 
can't leave. Uh, just a win. Chat, just a win. Just, uh, just a win. Can't, uh, can't do much about the ooze. It stepped in it for a second. Hang on. You guys, uh, hearing this? Uh... Sort of like a hungry... Ooze kind of thing. Um, well, it doesn't really help me. I'm trapped in this house right now, Chad. Oh wait, nope, this is new. I wasn't able to go in this room before. Kid! He's in the piping! Oh no, he's in the piping. I think he flushed himself. Kid! Do you hear me? Kid! Kid, I'm like your legal guardian at this point. Where are you? You gotta be kidding me, kid. Come here right now. I've equipped the child. I'm now using them as a shield <laughs> against ghosts and monsters. If I left click, I will swing the child as if he were a weapon because he probably is one. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised. This is a Chilla's art game. He probably is one. I can probably use him to fight off a demon. Can you see in this shit? Can you see some? All right, kid. So we're stuck in the elevator. <laughs> kid, 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 kid. Kid's gone. I'm in hell. Ah, yes. It all makes sense. Hello? Silent Hill? Uh, well, I gotta make some more deliveries, no problem. What is, uh, money? Ten thousand dollars! Room 401 package. Can I carry multiple? We got a package going to 206 and let's go 202 first. That one's easy. Yeah, it's like whatever, Chad. I can do more deliveries. Uh, weird what's going on, but that's not going to stop me. I'm sure that kid is. Got to take the spooky elevator again. Floor two. Floor two. Floor three. Floor four. Floor five. Okay, the elevator's not working. Alternative options to elevators include ladders. <laughs> okay, let's ride. Huh? I'm looking for a... Uh... Okay. We're just gonna basically go door to door. What do we got on floor three? 305. Which we can't get to currently. That's it for floor three? Yes. Can we get back down the stairs here? No. I can climb down here to get to the floor two ones. 302? 202? Delivery for floor 202. Huh? The baby was walking outside this morning. 
He is adorable. That is Mariko's child in room 202. As soon as Mariko noticed me looking at her son, she grabbed her son and took him inside the house. Please stay away from my son. Am I like a germ to her? I'm spooky, sort of weird. I can't believe how quickly Mariko was to uh, grab the boy and get them out of there considering how casually she allowed the boy to sprint out of her house and run 200 miles away to a new, like, fucking country. Really good stuff. Uh, where the hell do I go next? Over this way. And they would go up this. 402. I have one for 401. This is so cursed, dude. How the fuck am I supposed to find anything? Okay, what do I got on floor five? 502. That's this one. Thanks. Today I gave a cat can to Erica in room 502. I also have a dog, so I wish I could get along well. She told me I was disgusting, but I believed there were no bad people who love animals. I was hurt. But Damn, dude. This guy's really getting a bad fucking deal. The people here suck? Yeah, they seem to suck. I thought I could get along with Michiru-san in room 401 since we were close in age. I've never seen him out of his room. I decided to visit him. He finally came out for the third time. I don't think anyone can get along with someone like me. So, oh, sorry. Someone like you, he said. That's it. And the door closed immediately. Wow, even owned by Machiru-san, dude. Even owned by Michiru-san. The one who uh, needed me to fucking, like, talk to a priest to get a package for him. Okay, where's the last one? 305 and 206. I gotta get way over there. I have no idea how to, I guess get to the top floor? I don't fucking know. The moral of the story is be nice to your neighbors. Maybe. I'm turning down this, like, fucking ambience a tiny bit. 206-305. We gotta get to the far end of the fucking building somehow. I'm going to descend. I need to, like, get over there. I'm pretty sure there's concrete in the way of all these things. Hang on. I need to get down so I can get, like, an eye... an, an eye's view of this whole place. I don't see any breaks in the walls other than top floor. It means I have to get to the top floor. Okay, so up, up, there, up, and cross. Okay. I'm gonna get lost the second I ascend, so don't even think that I'm gonna actually make it to where I just said I was going, though. I assume I get lost immediately right now. I'm lost. I got, I got lost. It's over. I, I don't know where I am. Wait, am I at the top floor? No. Okay, this is gonna get me there. I'm there, I made it. Top floor. Now we cross back over this way. Okay. There we go, got it. 206, 305. More down, and that gets us to 305. And we get the last two spooky diaries, and then the game ends. And we, we finished our burger. This is not my room. Okay, we're doing 206 first. At night, Mr. Takeo in room 206 was carrying a box filled with beer cans. I said, do you mind me helping? Why the fuck are you trying to help? If you have time to help, you shouldn't be on welfare. You're just a burden to society, said Mr. Takeo. What? I, I wonder if people around me think that way. Damn, dude, what the fuck?
305. Arisa in room 305 is a student. She's also a part-timer at the nearest convenience store. I can tell she's a hard worker and, res and I respect that. When I thought she wouldn't say hello when we passed each other for the first time this morning, she said, are you stalking me, you ugly fuck? I wasn't stalking her. Damn, man, this guy's depressed. This is sad. Uh. You don't want my money? What do I do with this money? <laughs> Same one. I don't want my money. Probably the priest. Yeah, I'm gonna guess the priest. I go up this way. Wait, no, I'm doing it wrong. I'm stupid. I'm going the wrong way. Ah, uh, let me go up again. I'm like looking at chat and it's making me get lost because now I like don't know where I'm going. And we go up again. I love mazes. Then we go down again. 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 And then. I put money in the thing. I gave him my money. This morning I saw Yukichi of room 105 walking. He seems to be a priest and I thought he was a kind person, so I went to talk. What is the weak person doing? I don't want to see it just useless without money. Never show up in front of me ever again. He said, maybe he was in a bad mood. <laughs> I don't know, dude, maybe move. These people all suck. I, it seems like everyone here sucks. It seems like they're all just mean. Oh no, I'm hearing like the fucking grudge sounds. Nothing on the elevators. <laughs> 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 I'm fine, dude. It's just a, it was a monster from Cry of Fear, but I'm okay, and the child is fine. All right, kid. We ain't, hey, kid. We're never gonna talk about what just happened, okay? We never gonna talk about what just happened, okay? This is between you and me. Hello, ma'am. All right, kid. <clears throat> Thanks, says the baby. It was actually a fully grown, just small man. And he closes the door on me. Bye. Have a good day. Well, I'm done with my deliveries. I can leave now. They grow up so fast. Felt like I was there for an eternity with that kid. So I held this bike move anyways. Anyways, looks like we're done. No more packages to do. This is like bullshit. Like someone's like, oh cool, there's a delivery guy. I'll just throw the package in there. Deliver this package. Sure. One last job. It's a very small. It's an easy package to room 404. It's a it's like a bite-sized package. Oh, 
A chat. A chat. Room 404 doesn't exist. A chat. There are no room fours. They don't exist. Room 404 never exists. So where's the... Where's this... Where's this going? Package delivery to room 404. Oh no, they just relabeled 405. Okay, yeah, that's pretty easy. Okay. Hello? Hello? I've got a box for you. Hello? What should I do? Hello? 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 Hello, hello? 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 Open the door! Hello? I'm coming in. What this guy doesn't know is that there's a loaded Glock in the box and he's already fucked. All right, cause I'm gonna take, he tries to spook me, I'm taking him down. It's loaded. I'm trapped in a door hell. Welfare document for welfare. Hello? Nope. Okay, this is it. I remember seeing this, uh, fridge. Chair on the ground. Spooky fridge. Just sitting there. Maybe, maybe there's some kind of, maybe there's a snack in the fridge. Chad? Maybe. Whoa, uh, whoa. Hey man, you all right? I got a delivery for, uh, whoa. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. All of you, huh, everyone? I mean, to be honest, this all would have been very easily avoidable uh, if you just weren't all total fucking unbelievable villains. Uh, I don't, I can't open the fridge. I'm gonna check the other rooms quick. Thing in the toilets. Oh, there is someone in the bathtub. Ah. Uh. Oh. I'm, uh, I'm staticking. Landlord, 53. I've... I'm now the landlord of the... of the... of the place. I was a TV all along. <laughs> I, I'm never going to financially recover from this. I gotta stop letting assholes live in my fucking property. My, I, my, I'm financially, I'm fucked. I'm never gonna be able to, this is really scary for me. It's really scary. Game's gotten darker somehow. Hello? Going out on a, uh, nightly stroll? Uh, to just, so I don't know, see how stuff's going. I'm a landlord. It's, isn't it, like, really cool when the landlord shows up at your house unwarranted and just starts banging on your door to see if stuff's cool? You guys know what I mean? I see one open door. No, I don't. At 1 a.m.? You know, just nothing like a little friendly surprise from your favorite fucking landlord at 1 a.m.? 
Anyone uh, wanna hang out with me? <laughs> Anyone wanna hang out? I'm bored. Is anyone else bored? Wanna hang out with your landlord? Check the backyards. I, it's so dark. Like, you guys are able to see just about as much as I am. They buffed the contrast. I'm bored. I'll give a discount to anyone who hangs out with me today. Oh, hey. You're a good boy. I knew you'd still be here. I knew you wouldn't leave. Even in the Shadow Realm. Yeah, anyone who hangs out with me gets a cool discount. Hello? Hello? You guys alive? <laughs> Yo, you alive in there? That, that's a fucking crazy thing to do as a landlord. Hey! You alive, man? Just gotta check. <laughs> I gotta do laps every day, make sure. You good? Alright. Hey, yo, Cheryl! Cheryl! You alive? You gotta tell me! Come on, daily alive check. Gotta know if you're good or not. I hear an anthem in there. All right, that's one that I gotta send the police into. You gotta... Hey! Michael! Come on, man! What you doing in there? You gotta tell me if you ain't alive, man! All right, we're clearing out 303 too. 305? No one's ever lived in 305. That's where the murders happen. No one ever goes to 305. Let's go up to 30. Let's go to let's go up to floor 4. That's probably it probably wants us to go back to the same room we were just in. Is, do I Okay, the trash has been cleared cuz I'm actually a responsible landlord. 402 403 403 it's so fucking dark in this room. Nah, 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 nah. Welfare documents. Hey, yo, man. With all this trash, you better be dead. That smell I'm smelling better be your corpse. Huh? Chilla, hey Chilla's art, I'm calling you up right now. Chilla, what was I looking at right there? What was that? Was that a candle? Was that a lamp? What was that? Was that a stick? Pipe of some kind? It knocked me out cold. What just happened? I saw spooky line. <laughs> POV, you are a moth. Ow, my fucking head. He's the fridge. Ending two. And then what was ending one? Was ending one the... Oh, I'm not delivering that. <laughs> was it... <laughs> Chilla, you've done it again. Chilla, you son of a bitch. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Every time, it's like lightning striking, dude. It's like lightning striking. This guy, every single time he makes a game, I have no idea what happens. And then it costs $2, so it's not like I can get mad. Uh, it, it's a $2 game. I can't get mad. I made objectively, like, you know, 40, 50, 60 times that just by streaming it. Uh, and now I get to watch this fucking VHS filter of a dog pissing on a tree over and over again on a loop. I don't know what happens ever in these games. Guys, here's the thing. I've got another Chilla art game about spooky apartments that I bought as well because I knew I'd get about an hour out of this before um, the gimmick of this one. So I'm just going to be watching. I guess we're just watching this dog bark at things and have a good time being a dog. I did get a second one, and this one's apparently better. I don't know, though. I <laughs> Chilla, guys, this is like a really depressing descent into madness.
Chilla's art fascinates me, all right? Because they made Convenience Store, which I thought was actually a fucking unironically really fucking good horror game. And then they were like, wait a minute. People really liked that one. Hold up. What if I just, you know, do that for everything? And then they just started dumping out a new game every fucking day. About like, all right, this is a game about janitor. All right, this is a game about a uh, fucking construction worker. All right, this is one about a plumber. All right, this is one about a plumber as well, but this one's this one's poor too. Uh, this is one about a guy who uh, stubs his toe really hard. Is this what's going on with this dog though? What's going on with this dog though? I mean, dude, if I opened my door and a dog was sitting there at the door staring right through me, dude, I'd be convinced that dog's like some sort of like fucking, like, like a diamond dog from Metal Gear Solid sort of scenario. I'd be looking around for the knife that he's got on him that he's going to use to rip my throat out. Like, I'd be like, whoa, this dog got ordered by fucking Big Boss to kill me. That's the only reason it's waiting here so patiently. I'd be convinced I'm about to get fucking got. Well, Chilla, I give this one a better than the last one that I played, but that doesn't mean anything. Anyways, I'm going to go play the other one. It's called Stigmatized Property. It's um, also apparently 80% uh, on Steam, which means I'm going in expecting exactly 80% uh, of $3 value on Steam. Because when someone downvotes a $3 game, you got to know something went wrong in the process of that. So 80% of anything that costs $3 is like, whoa, there's something wrong, but I can't put my finger on it. Something's off. <laughs> All right, I'm launching it. I'm turning this one onto maximum Omega Ultra. This one might take a second for me to get the display working properly. Never mind, I did it perfectly. Dude, yo, for real. If fucking anyone that's a streamer isn't rolling with borderless gaming on at all times to fucking cheat the system and like make things display properly, you're insane. I don't know how you live your fucking life. I'm not shilling here, but I will say, holy hell, that program has fucking actively saved my fucking Save my ass like a thousand times. All right. Stigmatized property. Let's go. This one's about like a bad. Ooh, 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 woo, woo, woo. Film grain on top of VHS. I can handle one. I He suddenly invited me to his house. I wonder why. Still bad? Who cares, chat? I mean, it's not like you could see anything in the last one either because it was so fucking dark. Once there's light, it gets a lot better. See, it's just darkness where it gets crusty. But film grain on top of it would be cursed. Yeah, this is fine. This is totally fine. I, I actually think this one works for this with the lighting. Ooh, 10 yen! Chat, we're already rolling in cash money. I hope this is the right way. Oh, do I even have to say it out loud if they're talking in a different language? I don't think I do that. A dead cat. Poor thing. Guys, this was like a Chilla's art game that came out before they started releasing a new one every day. So like this one might actually be really good. So that's where the smell is coming from. The garbage. He told me to be in the apartment room 104. One oh, wait, 104? Four? The number four? Room 104? But none of these apartment rooms have numbers. I actually think when uh, you're not in like advanced darkness, this filter actually looks really good. Like, look at this. This actually looks really good. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna actually be honest. This one looks this looks really good with the filter on. The other one was like very low quality VHS in the other game. The V the filter on this one actually works with it really well. Dude, what happened to Chilla, man? <laughs> what happened? This one looks so good. Turn on film grain. Nah, that one's actually too much. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. This is perfect. The other one's too much. Room 104. How do I even know which one's my apartment? Knock on the door. Hello? Sumimasen. Sumimasen. There really is no one. I can't just wait outside. I need to get in. So is this officially our house? I thought I was just bullying someone. Didn't he say there's a spare key somewhere? I forget where though. Probably in like the plant. Under a box. In the fucking ventilation. It should be under a lemon tree pot. Okay. Could have fooled me that those were lemons. They looked more like peaches or something. I was just gonna climb into the fucking open window that definitely a human could fit through. A key? I'm in. Okay. Hello? Delivery? Wait, I'm not, never mind. I'm not playing that one anymore. Hello? I live here. Wow, this room looks really good for an apartment. I wonder what's wrong with it. Yeah, it, it if it looks so good, that must mean there's a fucking problem. It's fine. Dude, imagine if you fucking were living your life normal, nothing was weird at all, and then you had to find out because of a mirror that someone snuck up on you at some point in the last week and turned you into a vampire. Like, it wasn't any other part of it that you noticed. It was when you looked in a mirror and you were like, fuck. Shit. I, what? You, you know what I mean? Like... There's so many other points where you can find out you're a vampire, and it's a lot, I think, easier to deal with. But if it took all the way to, like, fucking you trying to cross a river two years later, like, for some reason with this vampire, you avoid everything else somehow. You're eating a lot of food with, like, I guess, blood in it or a lot of iron, so, you're like, you don't, it doesn't even care. You try to cross a river, like, a week after you become a vampire, and all of a sudden your body starts burning. Ah! Think about it. Well, this house is nice. It's really nice, actually. We got microwaves. We have a fucking hole. Hmm. I think I see something stuck inside the hole. You never put your hand in the hole. You never put your hand. You never touch the hole. Don't go near the hole. What we got for snacks? Can't even open that. How about this? Can't open that either. Never put your hand near the hole. Well, I need a blade or some sort of weapon to get my fucking deal in that hole. Got a balcony. As well. I mean, it's a nice apartment. Strange, the last seven pages are torn. Who opened the door? Hello? I heard someone open a door. Oh, this door is unlocked. <gasps> <laughs> well, I could use a tub right now. Sorry, the tub was actually full, which was the problem. The paper's wet. I need to find a way to dry it. <laughs> Pop that shit right in the hairdryer. Use the dryer, yeah. It's not plugged in. All right, this thing's basically readable now, but it won't. I won't understand what any of it says until I've used it on the thing. April 4th. 
Morning is over at last, and today marks the first day living alone and also the first day writing a journal. I really look forward to the experience. I've always dreamt of it. Writing a journal? Oh my god. Fucking raise your fucking priorities a little bit. I've always dreamed of fucking writing things down in a journal. That's such a fucking boring dream. I think dreaming of living alone. Nah, dude. I think it's dreaming of fucking writing in a journal. I decided to move here because the rent is very cheap. I honestly can't believe that a broke student like me can afford such a nice room. I'm sure there's nothing wrong with it. It's also very close to my school. How amazing is that? I ate out with my parents today to celebrate the move, and they were both laughing and just having a great time. Living alone is great and all, but man, I'm going to miss those faces. They told me that they're going to be here for only a couple of days. They kept telling me how worried they are, but they're just overthinking. They don't have to worry about a thing. I'm going to do just fine, he said, guaranteeing his death. Well, I've got this convenient hook that'll fit directly inside the spooky hole. There's another piece of paper in here. Guess we'll read a little bit more. April 5th. Today I took the whole day just setting everything up in the room. What well, used to be a room with, a sm with small luggage and a simple bed now became a room with a bunch of furniture and a whopping queen-sized bed. The previous tenant left everything and the owner was too lazy to get rid of them. Dad seemed to like this house so badly. He said he'd like to stay a little longer, but as much as I appreciate their company, I'd like to live life already. <laughs> the owner came to say hello today. He looked like he could use a little sleep, though. What was wrong with him? He shook my hand with a big smile on his face, told me how grateful he was for someone finally renting the room, but how he stopped smiling right when he let my hand go. That was way too weird. Anyways, the new semester starts tomorrow. Gotta get ready. Yeah. Someone was really glad that I decided to finally rent this room. Almost as if there's something wrong with it. Almost as if many people were murdered in it. Or even worse, it was a den for vampires. Or something alike, like that. Like a vampire or something. But that's not anything. That can't be possible. Wow, there are so many reflections in this room to confirm that I'm a vampire. Someone walks in here, even slightly peeks in the thing. They're going to be like, that's ah, a fucking vampire. Like, you can't, I can't stand anywhere without revealing my, my dark secret. Ah, what a beautiful day. Perhaps I can enter from here. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. I gotta get inside this room. I gotta find like some steps, like a stepping stool and get in that room. Hey. What's that, a piece of paper? How do, uh, can I have that? It's part of my diary. Evidently not. I need bird feed. Maybe he likes, uh, plant. Give it money. I don't own any money. Whoa. Uh. Hello? Hello? Are you okay? Why is he just standing there? Weird. A diary page. Oh, a newspaper. Apartment memo. This apartment cannot be demolished. I tried to call a contractor, tried to destroy it, but for some reason the phone line stops working. My mother suddenly becomes ill. I hope it isn't related. 
the local priest will not come. I tried asking other people to ask the priest. The priest got into an accident and died. Talismans are useless. I bought a box of talismans and stuck them on my walls, but they were all burned the next day. Whenever I put a talisman on a wall, the word curse will continue to appear in my head. The apartment does not catch fire. The building repels fire. The apartment must continue to sell. A resident must be chosen every month. The chosen one will be possessed in a week. And after the possession, the person completely disappears from this world, and no one remembers a thing about the person. I keep having nightmares, and a strange voice keeps telling me to bring human. I can't sell the apartment. I can't let them hurt my family. Someone, please, help me! Yeah, I'm gonna finish reading. I'm gonna go to the bathroom now. This means nothing to me. I... Cannot interact with this stepping stool while also carrying a crumpled up piece of paper. So I have to come back. Something's off about this apartment. April 6th. Today was the first day of the semester. It's good to see my boys again. They want to come to see my new apartment, but I don't know. They better not fuck anything up. Mashima-sensei is my homeroom teacher. I wonder what kind of teacher she is. I hope she's not mean like the previous one. That guy was an asshole. Another weird thing happened today. When I got out of the room this morning, some middle-aged ladies across the street gathered and talked bad about this apartment. Women of that age like to gossip a lot. It's probably whatever. Yeah, like, whatever, man. It's not a big deal. It's just like an apartment that's cursed by demons. I still only have ten dollars or ten yen, which is like nothing. It's like having a penny. All right, let's get this into the let's get into the bathroom and probably find a dead body of my like missing friend that lives here. Diary page. Chat. Tomato, there are seven pages to that diary, and they're daily. You don't say. Guys, my synapses are firing in a fucking, at, at a pace at which some of you might find disturbing. You're telling me over the course of the seven days that it takes to possess someone in this cursed apartment, there would also be seven diary pages in order to show the progression of that time for the character that once lived here and is now presumably missing you're telling you're telling me that april 7th i said hello to my fellow neighbors today there's a polite thing to do that's a polite thing to do right always be nice to your neighbors right mom but you know what mom i don't think that works here because i just got the cold shoulders from them when I said good morning to the neighbor on the right, he just stared at me with his big eyes, and without a word from his mouth, he shut the door on me. Even now, his big, cat-like eyes won't leave my head. Ah, I shouldn't be too rude. I'll probably give it another go some other time. Anyways, today I saw a girl who looked just like the girl in Shabaki Bara 89 in my class. Her name's Mira, and I'd like to get to know her. And from what I heard, she's single, ready to mingle. How lucky! I'm excited for tomorrow! I hope a demon doesn't possess me and dis delete my existence. Shibaki Barra 89! Pogfish, you gotta be kidding me right now. Lots of donuts in this apartment. Didn't I get the hole? Oh, I can look through it. All right, what's on the other side of the hole?
Who's the weirdo now? <laughs> Okay. I need more diary pages. There's the crow. But I need crow feed for him. Give me that. No. I need to I have ten yen. I should be able to buy like a snack for the crow. Open the door, you animal. No. If I have to get possessed by a ghost soon, I'm gonna at least let the fucking building breathe a little bit, okay? 60 cents. Hmm, that's odd. I see a crumpled paper in one of the slots. It says it costs 100 yen. I need to find some change. Whatever you say, lady. Whatever you say. Frog. One hundred yen? What a ripoff! Isn't that like one dollar? Hello? Pray in front of the shrine. Sure. I'll pray in the darkness. I'm just looking for money, Chad. I'm like scouring around, you know. Cash. Any cash? No. All right, so what made that cart sound? All right, let's just get to the bottom of this. Wrong move. Big mistake. What do you mean, big mistake? Hello? Oh. A key. For what? Oh. For what? A car? Oh, that'd be... Isn't this his mother's car? Okay, it actually was the key. Alright, I got another crumpled note. So there's more pieces of paper than I actually need? Someone's scampering around out there. Did you hear that? And now I own that car. It's my car. No one else's, it's mine. <laughs> I was moving that mirror around. April 8th. Mom came over to my room again. Ugh, I told her she doesn't have to come anymore. I think she had a fight with dad again. Her passive aggressive attitude got me, got to me. So I asked her how dad is doing. She refused to talk about it. Instead, just sat there quietly. I've never seen her like this before. She would usually put a fake smile on her face after a fight. I would notice that, but it just wasn't like that this time. An hour or so later, she regained her usual positivity when she asked me if I can invite my old time friend Sayaka. She had the biggest smile when I agreed to it. Mom must be worried for me to live alone still. I only have Mira-chan in mind right now, though. Mm, but that smile. Her eyes weren't smiling. Something weird's going on here, Jet. Something weird's going on here. I gotta go down the street to look for money. I need more money. Pick up the fish. Yeah. Hey, you want a fish? Anyone? Does anyone want? What do I do with this? <laughs> what do I do with this? Oh. Hello, sir. Can I interest you? Okay. All right. <laughs> Whatever. Crow want a fish? Crow want fish? Crow want fish? Crow want fish. Crow want fish so bad. Another journal entry. <gasps> April 9th. I was able to talk to Mira Chan today. What a great day! Except for one thing. Mom was gone when I woke up this morning. Her car was still parked here, and it's odd for her to leave without notice. Hope Dad picked her up or something because the car is still here. I invited Sayaka today and she said she'd come tomorrow. I hope this makes her happy again. 
Who's, uh, stacking my stuff around? Who took the donuts? Used to be donuts here. Who moved them? Someone's moving stuff around and taking the donuts. You're pissing me off. Also, wait. Bathroom, toilet, sink. Sink. Tub. Half of this room is dedicated to alternative concepts for toilets and sinks. What's going on? Put them all in the same room. There's totally space in the first room for a toilet. Is that like a Japanese thing? Because that's like a lot of- that's a lot of time wasted and space for that. I'm looking for money. I'm looking for cash money. Yeah, but do you have money? Thanks, asshole. <laughs> I don't care about that. That's not part of the apartment story. That's just a random dead thing. I just need the cash. Pray at the shrine. Pray in front of the shrine. You just robbed a ghost. Dude, if I saw like Casper the ghost floating around with a 20, I'm gonna walk up to him and say, give me that fucking $20 bill. It's not like you're gonna be able to use it on anything. You don't need it. And Casper will probably say, shit, you're right. Fuck. Whoa. I didn't actually think that would happen. I didn't think I'd be able to go this way. Y'all got any $20 bills back here? Another shrine to pray at. So if I pray at all these, do I get like god mode or some like super cheat, like no clip? There's gotta be a reason they're making me pray at all these shrines. You turn into Super Sonic. Dude, that was the most badass shit as a kid, dude. Super Sonic playing Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Got some interactable behind that that I can't reach. Or see, for that matter. Oh, another shrine. I feel slightly warmer. Is it just my imagination? You're gonna explode soon, lady. You got too much spirit energy. You don't ever want to pray for too long, Chatter. You blow up. Okay? You blow up. Hello, does anyone have like a 20 or 30? I need 30 cents. Does anyone have like 30 cents? I didn't realize this would be like the gameplay loop. I really need 30 cents. Looks like I've gotten all the shrines. I just need 30 cents. And then one. Need 30 cents. Anyone got like 30 cents? Come on, hook me up. This is an invisible wall. Chad, where the hell is the last 30 cents, man? Cat's gone, cat's been gone forever. Alright, wild animals fucking lurk around every corner in this fucking sh area, dude. Okay. Of course, something would come by and pick up that corpse and eat it. I'm not even surprised. You could sell the car for 30 cents. In this economy? In this economy. Get with it. Okay? And help me, like, lurk around these fucking apartments. Okay, There's, someone's gotta have cash. Someone's gotta have 30 cents so I can finish the game. We can pawn off some lemons. Anyone got 30 cents? I'm gonna start banging on doors. Gotta be like 30 cents on one of my counters or something, Chetch. For sure. Hello? What was that fucking sound? What was that fucking sound? It sounded like a squish. Oh. 
Thanks for the money. Is there like slime coming out of the hole? <laughs> Come in front of the eye hole. Nothing. Well, it gave me another 10 cents, but that's not enough. Check behind the couch. So fucking smart, but unfortunately not correct, chat. That's going to be some points deducted, unfortunately, from you. Also, I have, nowhere else, I have no idea where else to find this fucking money now. I'm, uh, maybe they'll give me more money. Hey, come on. Get a job. In, at this point in time in my life, in this economy. I'd rather fucking shoplift than get a job. In this spooky economy? Where the hell am I gonna get a job? Hello? Anyone got cash? Ooh. Gang, I legit have to just stare at the ground for an invisible pixel where there might be a coin, apparently. Which is a bad scene. That's a really bad scene. Because that was like invisible. All right, I'm gonna watch the ground and sweep for coins like a fucking metal detector. I hear scampering. Got coins, anyone got coins? Got fucking coins? An invisible wall me like right here right yeah i'm never beating this game like it, 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 who hides the last coin chilla chilla why did you hide the last coin I, but i'm never gonna find it it's gone i already got a coin from down there it's got to be in like the main area wants to look it up for you I mean, sure, go for it. I'm not going to be that upset if someone spoils the coin location, to be honest. I don't know. I'm not going to lose any sleep. I might lose a little. In the apartment. Back of the apartment. Okay. I say, still checking every corner around me. Including the back shed. Nothing. You might be right. Left. The coin is left. Streamer, my streamer, please go left, my streamer. Streamer, dude. Wanna well, look left, dude? I'm not seeing any coin back here, chat. Not seeing any coin back here, chat. It's no coins back here, chat. Why would you chat? You passed an open door outside. Wrong. Back of the apartment building, all caps. I don't think the coin exists. No, no, no. The coin exists, chat. Everyone calm down. The coin is real. It's just we're never going to find it. There's doors downstairs as well. Chat, I'm, I'm sorry that I don't have that much confidence in the nuance of Chilla's games, but I already checked all those doors by jiggling the fucking door handles, okay? They're not going to magically be open when I go back down there now. I just want to get out of here, man. Yeah, it's getting so hot. I have to turn the AC back on in a minute. 
back of the apartment ground floor. I'm assuming it would only be somewhere where there is a light source to see. And I ain't seeing it. Please. 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 Uh. Hello? Yeah, but do you have 10 yen, though? Thank you. Have a good day. Fart with reverb. Chat, come on, dude. Come on, dude. Come on, can we take this goddamn seriously? Seeing stuff like that was what caused Chilla to descend into madness. And you're gonna fucking, and you're gonna do this today. This is the last paper. This paper just, uh, this paper explains the madness of my friend. This, this paper holds the secrets we asked for, the ones we require. Perhaps it'll even explain the truth behind my vampirism. There is no escape. I can't read the rest. You guys want to bet when I when I fucking turn around it's going to be a spooky guy standing there try to get me? No. Hey, all right. <gasps> really? No one? Really? 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 Re really? <laughs> I looked back repeatedly as I felt I was constantly being watched, but no matter how many times I looked, no one was there. I couldn't handle the fear. I went back as fast as I could. It's because I prayed. He was absent from school the next day. His seat was occupied by someone else. I tried asking his friends and teachers, but none of them knew or even heard of his name. After school, I went to the same apartment. However, the apartment was sold. According to the locals, the place has been on sale for a while. Where did the apartment go? And the boy I knew and loved, where did he go? Was it all my dream? Come to think of it. I don't remember his name either. Wait, who am I even talking about? The end result said, my praying actually got me the lore dump ending. I, I was spared the scary ending and instead I got the really, there's no ghost here really ending. I, I now get the spooky ending. How fast do you guys think I can get spooky ending? I don't have to read anything. I bet I can blast it. I do. <laughs> suddenly invited me to my house. I can pull this off. Hang on, check this out. Check it. Yen. One yen. <laughs> Shut up, lady. Wonder if the money's already on the ground over here. Now nah, let's do it in the order that we know. I have a timer going. I can, I could cheat engine it, Chad. I could fucking kick this up a notch. I could kick this up a notch like it was nothing. That guy's not there yet. Up the stairs. Try to open the door. No one, o no one answers. Check there. Walk around for a minute. My character will get confused. Then talk about the spare key. She will not move the lemon thing yet. And then she'll remember that you have to move the lemon. Grab the key. We're in. Open the doors. 
etc., etc. Stuff stuck in the things. Okay, diary on the ground with no pages. Donuts everywhere. We remember that. There's paper first. One. Number two's in here somewhere. Remember that. Isn't it in the tub? Yeah, the, the still full tub. That's rain. That's number two. Remember, don't pray at the shrines. Why would I ever pray? Chat, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a master of karate. I don't need prayer. I went so fast, I can't put the book on the, uh, I can't put the paper on the book. I'm gonna walk around for a minute to see if that resets it. That's right, chat, I've officially gone so fast, the game will not let me. Oh, I have to dry it first, dry it, I have to 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 dry it, I forgot, I have to dry it. With the unplugged in paper. Uh, number two, okay, we're done. Next up, I go down to the spooky man. Go down to Spooky Man. I have to knock on window first. Man, I'm blowing this speedrun, dude. Absolutely fucking blowing it. With that, pick up the first paper, bring it back, then I can grab the second paper. As soon as I've gotten the uh, stepping stool. Pretty sure there's yen up here as well, right? There's like a yen up here. No, I'm stupid. There was yen inside the, uh, the car. Oh, this game. This is a good game. Well, I can't answer that because I saw the um, I won ending, which was actually the fuck you, asshole. Next time, try to not pray so much. You thought you wanted a horror game. You were wrong. You get a spooky diary game. Okay. I've never had a good, like, a bad ending and a boring ending before. <laughs> I'm gonna guess the other ending is way better. Wait, what am I doing? Okay. Piece of paper. Open the door. Plug it in. Next up is key on the ground, I'm pretty sure, from the car. Yeah. Yeah. This one's next. What? Okay. Then we need to go out and get some yen and get the last couple parts. I know I need to do birdfish. That one's next. We get yen while we're out. Mirror's now been moved. Five out of seven. So it's bird and yen now. That's it. I need to go get the yen. And the fish. Cat should be gone. Grab the fish. Fish first. What's going on? Okay, bye. Guy closes door on me. I run upstairs. Immediately throw the fish at the uh, the crow. Cool, cool. You guys think the other ending's just gonna be a jump scare? Like where a monster comes out and gets me? Think it's gonna be like a like a and things gonna run out and grab me or something? Let's get the yen in the back first. I don't remember where one of the ones on the ground is, is the thing. There's one on the ground that I absolutely do not remember the position of. I remember the other ghost one. That's like down the hallway. And then I don't remember.
One outside the neighbor that slams the door. Ah, yes. And then one from the eyeball. So that should be all of them. Yeah, whatever. Just drop the money. Okay, cool. All right. Two more. One from the peephole. One from neighbor that slammed door. Piece of cake, no problem. Bada bing. It's time to get the time to get the the, the wacky ending, chat. This one's the wacky one. It's time to it's time to claim our destiny. People always said, Tomato Gaming, you play games too well. You always get the good ending, and the good ending's not the fun ending. And I said, that's not true. Every ending's a fun ending, as long as it's the true ending you got the first time. And I was finally proven wrong today. Finally, I've had my comeuppance, and I look like a fool. My day is completely ruined. And now I'm going to put this paper down and get the bad ending, which is the good ending. Which is probably an average ending, if I'm being honest. Finish reading. I need to get home. I bet there's a guy right here. Nope. Really? 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 Really nothing, really? 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 Not even in the hole? Really? None of you? Really? 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 Door's locked, really? Hello? Someone outside holding the door closed? Oh, really? We're doing this today? Really, guys? Really? Really? That's, uh, that's, that, you know, that, that. I ran a world record Chilla's art game for loud fart on reverb of 2D cutouts. Who's there? Who's there? They're not even, they had, they're, there's a cut line on the Photoshop where their fucking face cuts off. Chilla, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch, Chilla. You got me again. They just keep getting me. <laughs> uh, do we do like one more Chilla game? I have like one more. There's one more Chilla game. I... I there's, there's nothing. They are all the same game. They're all the same game. I I don't... I don't even know. Hang on. That one, chat. That one was a 82% all reviews on Steam. I've got one that says it's 90% on Steam. But people are saying this one's not very spooky. Hang on, is there one here that's like very spooky? I'm looking for, I'm looking through these. Ah, uh, okay. Hang on, there's one called Ghost Train. The Ghost Train. Hang on, we got something about a ghost train. It's basically a weird walking simulator trying to put you in a psychological horror hell or something like that, but it sadly fails. Hang on, I got one. I got one. I got one that I actually already own. Akamanto was one of like the fucking old, old games they made. I've owned it for a long time and I never streamed it. We'll do that one. I already own that. And apparently it's one of their better ones. Also one of their older ones. So it may have been before they became cursed by some sort of ghost living in their apartment. This might have been from before 
uh, they got cursed. You know what I mean? By the ghost that lives in their apartment that possesses them over the course of seven to eight game releases. Here, this is your punishment. You're going to go on a little exploration. It's going to be a lot of fun. This is what you get for being close to him. Now, don't you think of escaping? Yeah. Better not run. Ah, ah. Options, graphics. Okay, you two. I'll see you later then. I guess I'm being bullied. I'm going in. I'm going into the spooky building then. If that's what you really want me to do, I'll do it. If this is what you really want me to do, I'll go in. I better find another way in. Sorry, another nay in. I better find another nay in. Ayaya. Ayaya. Here I go again. I'm ayayaing again. I found my way in. So chat, from what I remember, this game is permadeath. If I die, I'm dead forever. I don't keep any of my progress. So that's probably when I will stop playing the game is when I die once. Uh, kid taking, using a toilet. Something about beans. I don't know. Missing girl posters. Missing girl posters. Poster about something. Hello? Lots of shoes? Well, if you- if it isn't the rumored handsome transfer student. One week in and you're all ready to talk in the school, so can you tell me what happened to you? Not the most talkative, are you? Well, I knew that. That's what everyone says about you. I can probably guess who that Kobayashi and his group got to you. They love being at the center of attention, you see, and you looked and you took that spot, albeit unwillingly, I would say, judging by your personality. Those kids have been a thorn on my side, but they keep getting away with it. As you may already know, Kobayashi is the principal's son, and he's quite clever. I think I may have a solution, though. I've bought a mini tape recorder, and if you, their new target, can get evidence of what they do to you, the principal will have no choice but to act. Yeah, why don't more people do that? You know how fucked most people are once you have a recording of them fucking saying some stupid bullshit? It's pretty hard to fucking argue. <laughs> with, like, audio evidence. He's quite clever, though. True, he is quite clever. What the hell is this? Graffiti. Red paper, blue paper, red paper. And an old key. Uh, this game gives me uh, White Day vibes. In a good way. Okay, it takes time to unlock things. Uh, Chad, I think this game might actually be scary or something. Uh, I don't wanna... I don't wanna tell you guys this game's gonna be scary, but this one might actually be like, scary. Hello? Enter. Oh no. Oh no, it's gonna be one of those kinds of games. Some dark spirit is holding the door. Not once I use red. Never mind. Hello? It's really fucking dark in here. Game's really quiet. That's now too loud. Okay. 
That should be perfect. Missing girl posters. Missing girl posters. Uh. Whoa. Oh, crowbar. Let's go back this way. Not that one, though. That one's locked down by dark spirits or some sort of curse. Drawer, nothing in it. Ooh, lighter. Pockets full. I need a place to dump items. I'm gonna rip this fucking bar open. All right, this looks like a good place to dump items. Yeah. And now, I have myself a lighter. Guys, I think Chilla made like a, like actually had integrity as a developer once and like made a game. I'm like, I'm, I'm not feeling good about this. Hello? Ow, I just stuck my whole hand into a fan. Oh. Give me like a white day and um, stay out of the house vibes. This reminds you to stay out of the house quite a bit. Uh, lots of weird looking vents, chat. Lots of vent. Oh, does this go back to the toilets? Stay out of the house was so fucked. Oh, chat, I assure you, when that game comes out in its full form, I'm going to stream it. I might I might even commit to beating it, even if it kills me. Okay, we're back here again. Which is good. Uh, look, I'm more concerned about, like, turning a corner and there's just, like, a ghost indigo paper. I'm not sure if that matters to me, but I'll take it. Let's just keep on moving for now. God knows what sort of darkness awaits in these spooky tunnels. I'm, like, afraid I'm going to turn a corner and see, like, a streamer or something, you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to turn a corner and see, like, fucking, like, a streamer. Like, something really scary in, like, one of these vents. Like, me. I'm going to turn, see fucking, like, just any streamer. Like, just streaming at their setup. I'm going to, uh, uh. Just press the red button to start and stop recording. I'm already recording this conversation as we speak. You can press this button to rewind and play. Okay, this is a tutorial. One final thing, don't get caught trying to record them. Always keep it in a safe place so it won't fall off. You down? Well, here, just keep it on your person if you change your mind. Also, in case you have anything bothering you, but don't want to tell me in person, just record it on that thing and I'll be happy to help. I am your counselor after all. Thanks. Sorry, Nakajima. This will probably be the first and last recording I make on this device. What Kobayashi said wasn't too far from the truth. What am I hearing? Ah! Fucking big bug! Oh no! Don't follow. It's following me. Anatomy knows. Dude, I will kill you. Uh, ow! I hurt my arm again. I'm still healthy, though. Okay, so there's also a nose here. I don't have the inventory space for it. Which is bad. Um, I guess I'll go here. Have you prayed yet? Oh, look, I'm not gonna get that nose until I actually know what it's going to. All right, what do we have here? Some miscellaneous things. 
sort of even spookier bathroom than the last spooky bathroom. G prison. Hello. I keep hearing like a monster. Wondering what the deal is <laughs> with that. Is uh oh a bolt lock. All right, looks like I found a shortcut of some kind and opened it. Is there uh any Akamantos around here? What the hell was that? Oh Jesus, Akamanto is here. <laughs> Oh, they're yelling at me! At some point, I took a wrong turn. Lost him. Human brain on the ground. I got lost. I didn't go the right way. Get the fuck away from me, lady. They're in the room. They're in the room. They're in the room. They're in the room with me. I feel like I, I, I got like curses on my brain or something. All right, I lost them. Unless they can like walk through walls. Unless they walk through walls, I lost them. Oh, I'm outside. I would be shocked if Akamanto is willing to come outside in the rain. I, I think we got him for a little bit. I mean, dude, I don't care about the paper. I do care about kerosene. All right, propane. Dude, I can't even like, they, they got me cornered in, in this hallway. They got me cornered or something. Yo, Akamanto, you go this way? Hey, yo. Just, uh, just looking for a sign here. Just looking for a sign that I, uh, can, well, I just need to sort of find where I am. Looking for a sign from God. Looking for a sign. Let's go back downstairs. I think that's some of the way I need to go. Or was it one point? And I got lost. And now it's all just sort of fucked. Not working, not working, not working because there's no electricity because we're missing the fucking plug. Oh, this would have been a better place to hide. Is that a uh, uh, portal to hell? What the hell is that? Do I call the police about that? I'm... I don't know what to do about that. Hey. Little spider. I think I'm being followed by Akamanto. Akamanto, please! Akamanto, please! Chill out! Cool it! Alright, cool it! Cool it! Hey! Alright, I'm going to- oh, I'm locked inside the building. I have a plan. Oh, yeah! Asshole. Wait, where the fuck's my- Oh, it was on the other side. Get lost. Get the- How do I- I'm healthy. I'm feeling okay. You know, that was traumatizing, but I won, you know? I won. I am the winner of the of the fight. Man, Akamanto looks like they're opening a lot of like portals, sort of like demons and things. I'm hearing a spider. <laughs> I, I, I charged right through them. Ah! Wait a minute. Wait. I thought I could run underneath them for a second, but I was wrong.
<laughs> it restarts you from the beginning. No, 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 no. Today's gonna be a shorter stream because tomorrow's stream is gonna be extremely fucking cursed, okay? Some. This is the last. I, I'm officially saying this is the last Chilla's art stream I'm ever doing. Do not recommend Chilla's art games to me anymore until they repent and they reform, okay? Because seeing this game, that was actually like, I would have. If I'd started with this, I would have beaten it. But like. It is. It is so depressing to play this and know that two years later they made fucking the, the shit that we played, like, at the beginning. Like, like, it's actually, like, a little, like, sad. Like, the direction the dev went. You know? Son of a bitch. They got me again. They got me again, man. They started selling out. They got like a Patreon. They got a Patreon. They run a fucking like Patreon thing now. They've got like every one of those games goes for like four to five dollars. They're making a lot of money out of these. Shovelware. Artist needs to eat. I mean. At a certain point, I wouldn't call this art, I'd call this shovelware. Which is, I think, more appropriately what it is. You know, like, there's a... They, these are all the same game, for the most part. I don't know, at a certain point, there's like a... Package them together and make it a $10 game. Feels like this weird nickel and diming, like, oh, I'm just gonna make, like, another one, like, two more days. Uh, you know, which makes, which doesn't really sit that well to me, because other devs aren't doing that. It just seems like they've gotten stuck in this really bad business cycle that they can't get out of now. You know? Like, there are other people that do a similar thing, like Puppet Combo. Puppet Combo also makes very similar games. But Puppet Combo's games are also all consistently really good. Right? Like, like they're, they're a very good one to compare to uh, this dev. Because they've also made a lot of really good games. Not really? I mean, I would say more consistently than Chilla. <laughs> like, chat, like, when you're using this thing i would say at least the dev should be trying to do something new i mean i feel like a lot of, i feel like it's hard to argue that at least puppet com was trying new things i mean look at stay out of the house like you can't say that that like that they're sh like fucking phoning it in chilla feels like they're phoning it in you know it just, it just feels like they're, it feels like they don't care. And at least when I see Puppet Combo, like, do stuff, like, I'm not, like, a fucking fanboy of the guy or anything, but it seems like they care, which goes a long way, you know? Like, I had, like, all their games have felt like some effort was put into this to make it unique from the last one. All these ones feel like the same fucking thing with very slight differences. You know? I wonder if Chilla feels pressured because of the Patreon to pr constantly produce content. That's the issue with Patreon, is that Patreon is good on paper, but because of the monthly cycle of it, you're constantly expected to be producing something to make it worth the money that you're receiving. And that makes it really difficult to take your time working on a product. I wouldn't be shocked if that has something to do with it. Cause I mean, this this game at the very least and convenience store showed that chilla like has done good stuff it's just that like now they are just making schlock 
Like, it, 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 usually you want to see a dev getting better. You know? Not worse. They're older games, even the second game we played. Ten times better than the first one. The only redeeming quality of the first one we played was the baby. Was the baby, the funny baby. You know? That was the best part of the first game. It was the funny baby. Well, I don't know. It's just like, I'm like, I, I keep comparing it to Puppet Combo because they use such similar structures. And yeah, some Puppet Combo games have been a little dumpy. Like Murder House was average at best. But like, what I can usually say about Puppet Combo games is that they build an atmosphere really well. At some point, Chilla stopped caring about that too. Like the delivery game just had no atmosphere. It was just dark. It was dark and people were opening doors quietly. Like there wasn't anything that actually made it all that scary other than hey, it's dark, you know? I don't know, it feels like if you're at least gonna do the same thing, you should do it really well. And it feels like even doing the same thing has somehow gotten more and more sloppy. Like did you guys not see uh, the fucking like absolutely fucking atrocious glitch textures when we played the first game today? in like some of the interiors where like parts of the kitchen were just clipping like that shouldn't happen in your game that you're selling on steam absolutely not like not when it's a part it's not like i was going out of my way to look for it that was in a room that i had to do multiple things in right they're cheap though yeah but i mean i don't want to find like i don't want to fucking order a three dollar burger and find that it's missing you know, half of the condiments I asked for or something. Like, even if it's $3, that shouldn't mean it's garbage. I'm paying $3 for an hour-long game, not a piece of trash. I'm, the payment, the amount of money I'm paying is off of the length of the game, not the intended quality of it. You know what I mean? That's what I, that's what I think of when I think of, oh, this is $3? This is a short game. Like, that's fine. It's short. You know what I mean? You're still paying for it. You should be getting the product. You should be getting a like quality product, even if it's a small quality product. What I would say is allow me to pay for these games and do not buy them yourself. Do not give this developer money currently. They do not deserve it for some of the more recent things they've made. Absolutely not. Not yet. I want to see this dev go back to the, go back to like the good stuff that they used to make, not some of this unfinished trash. Like I remember in the fucking old person game when I like fell in the ground, like, and got stuck there. Like this stuff shouldn't be happening in like the main area that you have to traverse for the entire game. It's just not, it's untenable, you know, it's untenable. But yeah, it's not a huge deal. It's just like, you know, I like to, I don't like to, it's just depressing to watch a dev get worse. Objectively worse. You know? Isn't it just two brothers making games? It doesn't matter if it was one person or 20. Getting worse is still getting worse. And I mean, I see tons of devs that have one that are alone that make incredible products. Like, I, like, look at the stuff. Look at the crap from fucking like Dread X collection, dude. From the newest Dread X collection. Those were only made in like a couple of months too. <laughs> like, there are other insanely high quality hour long experiences that are out there that where I don't run into a single bug, it tells a compelling story or whatever, and there's no bullshit. Anyways, chat, look. Look, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. 
I paid three dollars for this burger. It was okay. So I had fun. I didn't dislike playing them. It's just that when I end the str when I end playing the game, I still tend to usually give my opinion on these games, and this one is unfortunately not very high my opinion because it comes with so many oh but this but that oops you know anyways i'm out of here chat tomorrow ben and i are going to be playing an extremely cursed game i expect you all to be there you will uh, regret it if you're not there uh trust me um it should be a it should be a real good time all right i will be back then at 3 p.m okay at 3 p.m. -ish EST. You should raid. I don't know who that is. You just asked me to raid. I don't really do that many raids anymore, chat, because they're sort of redundant. Most of the time, you people are asking me to raid people that you already know fully well, and when I stop the stream, you'll go there anyways. So it's like raiding someone for about a half a second, and then the person goes to who they want to watch anyways. So I only really raid into things I'm actually streaming with that person right afterwards now because anything else is totally pointless. You know? You know what I mean? I'm out of here. Goodbye, chat. Goodbye. Goodbye. To the void! To the void! I'll be back tomorrow at 3 p.m. 3 p.m. 3 p.m.